Test sound level, test sound level are arriving. Momentarily, ladies and gentlemen. I want to figure this thing out, so instead of flying, we might have a flight at the end of this if uh, we manage to do it. We are going to try to paint one of these new Microsoft Flight Simulators float variants of these airplanes. We can do the 172 or the Shock Ultra, I think, but we're going to go for the 172, more classic look. And we're going to be attempting to get a paint custom library, a custom paint job, a custom skin for this airplane working in the flight simulator from scratch here. For this thing I'm going to be using uh, to actually edit the paint job. This is not really what it's gonna, the stream is going to be about because I'm just going to put like a big heart on it. Something really basic. I, I, I'm not really going to talk too much about skinning the airplane, but I do want to talk about I want to learn myself how to actually get it the the, the software to read it and load up our custom paint job. I'm going to be using Photopea to edit the graphics files. Basically a Photoshop clone in your web browser made by some genius in Eastern Europe. Excellent free. Hey wow Chris, how are you? And uh, it's, it's really a nice, uh, it's basically like a Photoshop clone in the web browser. It's crazy how everything can run in the web browser these days. Right, let me make sure that my display capture is activated over here. And we are going to start, and uh, wow, Chris, uh, if we get this to work, I'm going to put bananas on the floats, okay? That's for you. We're going to begin by, and, and look at this, I managed for the first time ever to turn Windows to dark mode. Isn't that nice? I didn't even realize Windows 10 had dark mode. I'm so glad it does. But we don't have to, like, I don't have to, like, that was it. Bruce Gildon came and all of a sudden took a photograph of me on the street. I don't get eyes knocked out of the light of the screen here. So this is more comfortable. Both for myself and hopefully for the streamers. Does it do DDS? Yes, it does. It does DDS here. We're going to, let's start. Uh, it does everything. TGA, DDS is basically a, it's a Photoshop clone in the browser. It's really crazy. It's, even the, the keyboard shortcuts are the same. But I, what the main reason I really like to use. I don't have Photoshop installed on my PC. Do I used to play video games? I only have Photoshop on my Mac, which is my day-to-day -day driver and my work computer. So, um, I'm really glad that Photopea exists. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to go and... I am a total amateur at this. I may, I don't know how to get these float planes to work yet, so I'm going to just try to do it live and hopefully you can help me. Oh, it's live. Uh, I went to the link. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's Photopea as a Photoshop editor. I don't know uh, if you're referring to live. Uh, okay, sorry, my head is not working so well this morning. So, uh, this afternoon here in New York, see? <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do, and if the music's too loud or too low, please let me know. It's a drone, the zonish music, so it gets louder and quieter or something. The first thing I'm going to do is, uh, if you go to Microsoft Flight Simulator, where it's installed in my Foxtrot game disk here, a one terabyte SSD plugged into the my computer via USB 3. I have a Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, folder here. Hey, thank you, Galaxia. And um, now here, music's not too loud. Excellent. Right, that's turn it up a little bit if you want. Uh, The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the official folder. The community folder removed everything from a community folder, so we don't have any potential conflicts. I just want to work on this thing, so we don't have to worry about any potential conflicts. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the official folder of Microsoft Flight Simulator, Steam. And here we have a list of all the airplanes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the one that I have is the standard version. So that's the Garmin 1000 version. It's not the classic that's only in Deluxe that you get the classic one. It's only the um, the Garmin 1000, the one of the with the digital panels that you get in the standard version. So I'm gonna go and here is my first point of confusion. Okay, 
you see there's the default Garmin one uh, Garmin the, the default uh, yeah Garmin 1000 a Sobo aircraft C172 SP and if it's too small to see I can uh, I can uh, inc try to increase the text size in Windows I don't know if there's a keyboard shortcut for that but uh oh okay maybe have a look in meadow oh yeah you did you put something in meadow I spurred just in time oh okay so I spurred for all coming in here maybe just in time to show us how it's done ladies and gentlemen that's not gonna be just for me it's gonna be for everyone uh I swear because I'm, I'm streaming live oh there you go you have to use this image official one store okay simulage is okay got it this did it for me on the AS100 but the old version you could switch the library and the plane for updating okay well thanks thanks for providing that that is awesome let's let me go ahead and download that now okay I'm gonna save the image uh, we are still trying to gonna do it, try to do it, do it from scratch, but I will try using this image. Okay, I'll just uh, I'll save it under uh, downloads. Okay, Hyperheart. All right. Thank you, Icebird. Um, yeah, I don't have a problem with uh, with getting it to appear in the default Microsoft Flight Simulator airplane. The problem I have is getting it to appear on the float, the new float airplanes. Okay, Futura Light Discord useful for people. Okay, Futura, let me let me give you my Discord here. I I I have I'm gonna just publish the link right here because I have finally set up uh, that you have to accept some rules to join. But um, here, let me go. Um, how do I do this? Right click, uh, invite people. I'm just gonna copy that. There's a link to the Discord. Free to join in. All right, and I'll and I'll add that command for the Discord later. I'm gonna have to maybe make a couple of you moderators to help me out there if you want. People in Galaxy as you. Let's see, okay. Thank you, thank you, Icebird. I, I didn't try changing the uh, thing you mentioned yet, Wild Craze. I'm gonna do it live here on the stream because it's been bothering me. I haven't been able to do it. So instead of playing the game in the stream, it's gonna be a technical stream. We're going to, uh, we're going to attempt to do this live. They just tried them, banana. I could not do. I'm not a modeler. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll try it right now. But but let's walk through it. Okay. So the first thing I'm doing, and many things hypertext. Maybe you could set up some armor three gameplay there for sure. Futur, I would love to play some armor three with you. Eventually. Thanks for dropping by. All right. So let me. Uh... Okay. So the first thing I'm, that I'm confused about here. Okay. My community folder is empty. All right. It's totally empty. The first thing I'm confused about is when I go to official, uh, the official Microsoft Flight Simulator files, you don't touch anything in here, okay? You always make a copy and put it in the community folder to edit. When I come in here, there is the Asobo Aircraft C172 SP AS1000, the Garmin 1000, that's what we want to use, but there's also the livery ones, okay? I, I can successfully create a edit a library and I'm gonna show you how to do that first okay so let's try uh, for example let's just take this uh, library 01 okay I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna go back to the community I'm gonna paste here I'm gonna show you how it's done with uh, the regular plane I can do that okay then I'm gonna rename this and instead of library 01 I'm gonna just call it uh, uh, hyper okay dash hyper then I'm gonna go in there then I'm gonna to go to sim objects, I'm gonna to go to airplanes, and here again I'm gonna rename this. Copy that iceberg, I'll check it out eventually. I'm gonna rename this also to hyper, I'm just gonna keep it lowercase, everything hyper like that. And I'm gonna go in here, and the first thing I'm gonna do, you see 01001, I'm always gonna I'm gonna change all these to hyper. Instead of library 01, I'm just gonna call all these hyper so that we are know we are using our library all right rename hyper okay and then I'm, I'm gonna double click on aircraft all right and here in aircraft I'm just gonna also change the name here to hyper instead of library 01 there on the title and then uh, in um, the texture folder all these zero ones I'm gonna change it to hyper. I think those were all lowercase. Okay, and what the, what this does is that it shows you the, the model, the panel, and the texture. You go look in that folder. Okay, I could also change the UE, uh, the type here 
uh, the variation instead of library zero one. Uh, I can just erase all this actually and put it hyper. I think that's how you can do it hyper, right? I'm saving that. I'm using Notepad plus plus for this, so I just uh, click save there. I did Apple OS, a uh, Control S, all right. All right, so back here, I've edited those. Okay, and now how do you actually paint the thing okay so i'm gonna open the texture folder that's where the textures are okay over here and we could just drag and drop the thing that um that iceberg gave us but i want to show you actually how to do it okay so the thing let's say you want to put a couple of uh like some words on the on the top of your wing okay iceberg helpfully provide us of this file here that um showing us where the the wings are so uh, we could use that, but right now I just want to show you from the from scratch how to do it. So here you go, right up and middle up and right down, middle down. So let's just try to put something on the right, on the top of the right wing. So it'll be around there, we'll remember that, okay? So here in the Microsoft community folder where I copied that in uh, the texture that I renamed to .hyper, I am gonna go to wings.png. This is a little confusing because even though that's a DDS file, it's called .png. It's not the, the JSON file, okay? That's a text file. It's this file here. I have GIMP installed. We're not going to be using GIMP. We're going to be using Photopea, which is an online Photoshop clone that's free to use. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this Cessna 172SP airframe underscore wings albedo albed.png i'm gonna click that and then i'm gonna out tab to photo pen and drop it right here boom all right and it's a little hard to see with this library because the default is blue okay if you want to make it a, a little easier to see you it, you would use the white one like icebird had but i can kind of see that the wing is down here and if you go back to icebird's uh, description you can see the right up wing is right there so around there but I just want to do a, a test of this, so I'm not going to go crazy of detail here. All I want to do is I want to put a shape there. Let's click here and let's get a, a custom shape. Let's see if the, I can find that. So let's, let's just paint something, okay? Let's just do something really simple. Um, where are my colors? Let's see. I haven't used this for a while. Let's get a big paintbrush. And uh, let's just open up. Uh, let's put. Let's let's draw a really, uh, a really random heart over here around there. There you go. I'm gonna just draw a little heart here, okay? And shade it in a bit if you want. But the point is just to show you how to do the thing, not to do something uh, perfect, okay? There's a little heart. Very very rough. So I'll put a couple of. I'm using the mouse, I don't have my Wacom tablet that I would use usually. Okay. So now, this is in the browser, it's not on your computer. You're using photopea.com. For me, it's strange to see file extension hidden. How, how do I turn on? Th that is strange. How do I turn on file extensions? I, I'm not used to Windows anymore because I use Maps, my daily driver. Is it properties that show file extensions? See, this is a learning experience for everyone, for myself included. Uh... How do we show file extensions? I would be, appreciate you letting me know that while craze when you have a moment. Okay. But back to Photopea. View from the menu maybe. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, view menu. Uh, oh, file name extensions. There you go. One, two, boss. All right, thank you. Icebird and... Uh, and uh, wow, Chris, thank you for, for that. I appreciate it. All right. A quick little little applause there for you guys. All right. Appreciate it very much. All right. So now we can see, and now it's less confusing, okay? Because since we went to the view menu with our kind of chat help here, Went to view menu and we turned on the file extension, file name extensions. Now it's less confusing because you see this is actually a DDS file, which is a particular type of graphic file that for skinning that Microsoft Flight Simulator uses and a lot of different video games use. So you can see it's .png .dds that was hidden there, and this one is .png .ds .json, which is a text file. Okay, that's what we're editing right now. The .png .dds. We dragged it to Photopea. There it is. We painted a pretty little heart. 
we put uh, we put uh, some some random like little things uh, flying off it okay very roughly and now let's say this is in the web browser so let's say that you made a beautiful like crea creation like a uh, botticelli here and you you didn't want to like lose it you know you didn't if uh, god forbid your computer crash or a lightning bolt struck your house and and, and shorted everything you didn't want to lose this uh, so let's let's say that you want to save this with the layers and and here I already did something wrong I, I should have opened it. Let's do that again. You shouldn't paint it directly in the background I should always make a new layer and then uh, let's paint it on the layer. Let's do the little heart again Okay, I'll, I'll just do a quick little heart there and uh, And okay in the little layer here. I'll double click on name it heart Okay, so now we have this little layer here and I can press V to switch to the selection and we can move it around then and it doesn't move the stuff down there let's say you made a, a, a like a masterpiece like michelangelo in the sistine chapel here and then you went you wanted to save this to your computer so you can change it later okay so you go to file save as psd that's photoshop format that's gonna that's gonna save your layers that's gonna save uh, um, all the different elements okay and you're gonna click save and it's gonna put it in the download folder all right there it is dot psd very helpful from wild craze uh, uh we we have the turn on the file extensions that's in the downloads over there and now the psd will save these layers but this is not what you want to put into microsoft flight simulator because you see the file size there's 15 uh, megabytes and it's a big thing this is like your your raw like your, your raw uh, file full of layers for you to to change later the the mo the file format you want to put in Microsoft Flight Simulator is DDS. So all you do is go to File, Export As, and then here there's More, and boom, there's DDS. Okay, I click on that. Just leave all the default settings: Add Mid Maps Compression, 2048 Pixels, all that. Just click Save, Save again, and then I click this little button up here in Firefox. We go see it, and there it is. Uh, it gave the same name as the one before it put like a one there and that's because I think I had saved it down here let me let me just delete uh, that one okay I was I was trying this earlier on today it was driving me nuts I was about to pull my hair out so that I decided to come stream about it okay so there it is okay so now uh, this thing here is gonna have a little blue heart on it. okay so what we do I'm gonna just uh, copy that or just to show you here on stream I'll open it on one side I'll put this on the other I'm just gonna, and generally a good idea to rename or to save the original ones. So I'm gonna rename this other one here to uh, uh, .png.dds, uh, let's put like uh, original. Okay, so we know that's the original one. Uh, oh, let's do it here, let's put it uh, dash original. So we know that that's the original one, okay? And then I'm gonna drag the one we just created in here. So now we save the back of the original and that's our little blue, the one with the little heart on it, okay? So that's done, okay? Now, the last thing, and this is the most annoying thing, it would be the most annoying thing to do if we haven't had some programmer do something to make it much easier for us, okay? If you go all the way back to the root of all this folder, we're here in the community folder in the Asobo aircraft that I named Hyper there. There's a thing called layout.json, okay? Uh, you could edit the manifest, which just says uh, Creator Stobo Studio and uh, Hypertext Heroes Chat. We can do that, okay? And let's just, I'm not gonna put that little thing there just in case there's a problem with it. Okay, you can edit that, it's not necessary if you wanna give yourself a little bit of credit and you can see, you know, this is hyper over here, but that's not really necessary, it's just to, to be precise. But what we want to do is we want to, if, if we were doing this manually, it would be really annoying, but we're not going to do it manually, okay? But you would open up this layout JSON, and then you would go down here, and you would uh, add this manually, the name, instead of texture01, you would, uh, texture01, uh, all the stuff, you would texture hyper here manually. And that would, you know, after you do that a few times, you want to get up, you want to take your computer, throw it through out the window. This is not fun, so what? What happens when programmers are doing something that they get upset about that because it's not fun? They out automate it, okay? And some very kind person came out here. Uh, let me go and try to find... Uh... Well, this music's gonna make me cry. Hold up. Someone someone came here, okay? And let me... Let's see. Uh, where was it? GitHub. Uh... 
Uh, it's not, uh, okay, good. I'm gonna have to look at my bookmarks, stand by. Miscellaneous, is it should be a Microsoft Flight Simulator. There, is this it? Library template, I don't know if that's the one that I'm looking for. Here you go, this is the one, right? We are gonna go here, ladies and gentlemen, to GitHub. Use MD Flyer 4 has created something called the Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator Layout Generator, okay? And if you go there, it'll, it'll tell you how to do it, but I've already downloaded this, okay? You can go here and you can download it and read the requirement and read about uh, how to use it, but I'm going to show you right now. I've already downloaded this. I put it... In, what this is going to do is instead of you having to come and manually update all this stuff, it's going to do it for you with drag and drop, okay? So all, all we're going to do is we're going to come back... Let me turn this music that got a little loud, a little lower. We're gonna come back here to our uh, our finder, okay? And here I'm gonna go to programs where I keep like little programs that I use, and one of them is Microsoft Flight Simulator Layout Generator executable. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna after I edited all that stuff in here, after you've done every all the editing, I'm gonna drag the layout.json onto the Microsoft Layout Generator executable. A little window is gonna come up and it's gonna disappear again. And now, when you go into layout.json, boom, everything has been renamed for you. Hyper, hyper, hyper. Basically, all it does is it goes into that folder structure and it, and, it, and it comes back and it creates a JSON file with the correct names for you so you don't have to spend time doing it yourself, okay? Well, Chris, my book, my list is like a time capsule from decades ago. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, I, I think... I was I I regret not uh, I I probably have it in a hard drive somewhere but uh I uh that's gold wild Chris don't don't lose that uh I'll, a little later I'll show you one of my favorite websites that I used to be one of my favorite websites from decades ago it's a time capsule so now that we've done all this ladies and gentlemen and that with the very helpful Microsoft Flight Simulator layout generator now we should be able to log on to the sim and change the library for the default Cessna 172 SP and, and pick our own library. Let's fire it up and let's see if it worked. It'll be amazing if it worked and there were no mistakes made because that's... Uh, I, I make like 10 million mistakes every week in the computer and that's how you learn. So let's see how it goes. All right. One from the screenshots from earlier in the stream today. Together with uh, the sneaking dodo over there, a wonderful screenshot generator. This this uh, this video game and the BN2 Islander. This airplane here, when you purchase this, it comes with a with a. You can download a, a Photoshop file of the layers, and that's super helpful. Right now, for example, with this Cez default Cessna 172. There's no layers, I just, you have to go in and, 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 and figure out where stuff is and, and paint it yourself, you know. And, and the Spitfire, this plane here, comes with a particularly nice layered file, it's like half a gigabyte in size. It shows you exactly where everything is on the airplane. This one is really nice, the Spitfire, the uh, Flying Iron Works, whatever they're called, uh, Spitfire Mark 1. If you just look up Spitfire Mark, so Flight Simulator, that's the one you'll see. All right. Microsoft Flight Simulator is starting up, and um, and we're gonna see if we can uh, if we get if we can get this uh, this library for the default version of the uh, this side. That's it. for the default version of the C one twenty two. If we're successful, with that we'll say one two boss. That was good. And then we're going to go back and we're going to try to do the float one that I'm having trouble with. That I need all the help I can get. I haven't gotten, gotten it to work yet. And in the meantime, while we're waiting for this to load, uh, one of my favorite websites from uh, decades ago uh, was... Uh, is this one here. Uh, Emotion Eric, I think it was. Was it .net? Oh, nothing but net. How about .com? Yeah, emotioneric.com is this guy that like you sent an emotion and he would make a, a photo of himself doing it. So for example, horror. <laughs> I don't know, I just I just find it pretty funny for some reason. 
Uh, did I leave the oven on is one of my favorites. Okay, this is old school web, you know, it has frames and everything. Uh, no cameras, you know, this it's just like old school web stuff. So there's a, a website I used to like give you a peek into a, a little a little walk in memory lane. Where is Timmy Thumb? Go give Timmy Thumb a, 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 a follow if you haven't yet, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, uh, Wild Craze. Uh, if you're here, you've probably seen all these people, but um, it's always nice to give some shout outs. All right. And of course, uh, Galaxia Cat. And I think Sheepa's out there too. Uh, and Kerr is probably there too. All right. All right, so let's see the moment of truth, okay? The way you test libraries quickly is you go to profile, you click on my hanger, the wonderful thing about video games is you can, you know, they give you a whole army and they say control this army. They give you a sword and say go hack things with the sword. They give you guns and say go shoot. And they give you a hanger full of airplanes. Wonderful, isn't it? And now let's go change aircraft. Let's go to the Textron Aviation Cessna 172 Skyhawk with the G1000, the Garmin 1000, which is the digital stuff. And this is going to be the moment of truth if it works now, ladies and gentlemen. Libraries here. Click libraries. And boom, here we go. We got hyper right there. Okay, I haven't shown you how to create a custom thumbnail. You can create a th custom thumbnail as well. We can find out about that in another stream. I'm not going to go into that now. But look at that. We can go hyper. Let's see if our little heart appeared. Okay. And then look, you click. After you click hyper, you could go back. And then you click on this little button on the top here. And then you can move things around. And boom, look at that. The little heart is there. It's a little bit off uh, because of that flap there, but there it is, ladies and gentlemen, from Photopea. There's the little heart we painted after all that. It has that weird flying solo thing that's on the default skin that we had got, but we can change everything in the plane, and uh, and that worked, okay? So that worked out. So we can check that box off. We can give ourselves a little uh, a magic twinkle. Okay, here's a magic twinkle for, for the stream. So I make it look easy, but you know it took me a lot of trial and error to to get to this point. So believe me, it was, I pulled a lot of hair. I a lot of got more lot of gray hairs to to figure to get this far. Okay, so that's that's okay for for the for the default one. Now, what we're trying to do on this stream is we're trying to get this airplane over here with the Textron Aviation Skyhawk G1000 with the floats which is what came out in Microsoft Flight Simulator yesterday in the new uh, sim update this wonderful plane that can land on water okay we go back and we take a look at the libraries and look there's only the default here they don't give you any libraries that one that already made me think whoa is it even possible you know? so we're gonna try to find out if it's possible okay so I'm gonna get out of I don't think you need i know that if for example i'll show you right now okay this is useful to know okay let's go back really quick i used to think that you have to turn the sim on and off every time when you're editing but you don't okay let's let's go back to the libraries let's go to the hyper library okay let's click on the top right here in this little thing and there's our little heart let's say we want to move a little heart up and make it a little smaller let's say we want to move Put it on the middle of the of the airplane okay with a, a icebergs very kind little guide here we can see that the middle up middle is here is in the bottom so we could put, try to put the little heart there but also i'm going to try to make it a little smaller and and a little up on the wing okay so all i do is i'm going to out tab back to photopea we have our layers there still i'm going to uh, go control out t to modify this i'm going to hold shift to make it get bigger, larger and smaller without using losing the proportion. I'm going to make it a little smaller. All right. Oh, the wrong thing. Uh, if, you, if you're clicking and it's moving something else, you go top left and you turn off auto select here. Oh, and I'm on the wrong layer. Make sure the heart layer. Okay, so I'm going to move that a little up. Then I'm going to drag the layer down to this little new thing to duplicate it to make another one. I'm going to put this, uh, I'll name this one heart, right wing, and I'll name this one here heart uh, middle. Okay and uh so uh, this one here where was icebergs guide okay up middle so i'm gonna put this one down on the middle here and for good measure why don't we try to put one on the 
on the left wing too, since we're already here. Left wing, okay. So up left over here, very kind of Iceberg to show us that. Uh, I'm gonna move that over around there, quite roughly, okay. I'm gonna again, the problem with having photo pen instead of in your locally is every time you save it, it's gonna create a new one, but uh, the computer will put another number for us next. That's fine. I'm gonna go to export as DDS again. All right, Dave, Dave, I'm gonna go to it. There it is. Uh, let me just. Uh, uh, this is one thing about better than Mac, of, of like many than Windows. I could just press Enter here in the map. It would select everything. I put Copy and then press Enter again. Okay, in Windows you have to right click, you have to go to Rename, and you have to select all, and you have to copy. So it's like four clicks, including a right click, instead of two keystrokes. Okay. All right. Um, then I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna right click this one, rename. I'm gonna select all. Um, oops. Copy. All right. And now I'm gonna get back to the community folder. Let me move that over here. And let's override it. Okay. Go back to texture.hyper, and I'm gonna overwrite of the latest update of the dds there okay now we go back to microsoft flight simulator it's not going to automatically show it here because you have to refresh it so you go back um all you have to do is change to another library like i'm going to load the default one okay and i don't even th think you need to go wait for it click go back i think i just click on the default one and now click on hyper again and it should load up our updated library uh, I may be wrong. Okay, that's wrong, I guess. Or maybe there's something changed. Uh, let's go to libraries. Let's switch to the default. Let's press escape to go back. Maybe you do have to press escape to go back. And now let's go again. Libraries back to hyper. And let's see if it updated it. Ah, it did not. Okay, so maybe that's a change. It used to be update with the new... Let's double check. We got everything... This is the here's another trick for photo pair if you want to open more than one file all you do is you drag whatever file you want to the toolbar here you release it and boom it opens the second one. Oh, look at that it's the it wait date modified now here oh it's there it's the correct one maybe you have to wait a little bit joy both sweet a library design stream yeah Attention the middle up is in the middle down you have to find out where the middle up is still as I said uh, No, no worries iceberg. I'm, I'm not worried about that right now. I'm just trying to get it working I'm not worried about the precision of where the hearts are and stuff You must re that what that wasn't true for me in the before the sim world update I did not have to start this team every time iceberg. I could just reload a different library. Maybe we tried changing aircraft Okay, so I'm a texture hyper here the wing albedo I'm just double double checking that uh, and sorry if I if I if I get a little bit uh, when I when I'm working on stuff like this uh, it's a little bit different from playing video games so my voice might get a little excited and I apologize that's the case okay let's try to go back to uh, let's try to change aircraft okay let's just go to uh, texture innovation Beechcraft King Air 350i okay and now let's try to change aircraft again back to the Skyhawk and um, back and libraries and hyper and let's see if it picked it up nope did not pick it up that's interesting because it used to pick it up let's try to go home get out of the profile it used to pick it up without you having to restart for me at least all i had to do is change a, a library but maybe that's not the case anymore boom uh, what's going on here 2603 underscore 6000 underscore BA07 underscore HC7510. I think that's probably a bot. I don't know if you're not a bot. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, very uh, curious username. Uh, yep, it's not picking it up, which is which is surprising to me because it, it used to pick it up before uh, before. Um, before that, before before this last world update, the dev mode in Warflight Sim is way to go. Then um, I, f I feel less dummy now. 
I also tried changing. I know, but now now it seems to change. That that's too bad. Okay, let's let's quit to desktop and let's restart and see if it picked it up. Okay, because you know restarting takes ages, so that's annoying. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's a bot, probably, 2603, but if you're not a bot, 2603, uh, please say something on the stream. Um, <laughs> you know, maybe it's someone who is living in the future, and in the future we're all going to have, like that J.J. Kale song, uh, Digital Blues. Have you ever heard that song? It's a good song. I got the Digital Blues... My life is just another number, or my name is just another number, I forget. How are you, Joey? And I'm the biggest computer dummy. I mean, all my computer knowledge is from endless trial and error. That's how I learn everything, pretty much. Right? Let's see, if we restart and it works, then that'll be really annoying in a way because we'll have to always restart to see if it works which is going to take ages but i am going to try to figure this out on the stream how to paint these float planes that are new that i would love to paint them i want two bananas in the bottom as wild craze had suggested and i want hearts on the top of the wings okay ladies and gentlemen if you are if you haven't already please go give joey bolo a follow Another kind gentleman and streamer of flight simulations. And, uh. Ooh, let's take a look. look at this. Alright, it looks like this person is actually a... Here, I'll, I'll follow him back. There is someone streaming of 65 followers. 2603 something, whatever RL. I'm gonna say 1-2 boss. This stream. Okay. But, uh, I don't know. It might be... It might be, uh... It might be a, a bot. <laughs> Who knows? It might be a real bot. A, mu a real robot in Japan or Russia. Having an iced coffee. Give it no attention. No cyber terrorists appeared on Twitch last night. It, really? Interesting. Okay. Should I unfollow then? Who's who's a who is uh? Are there are there Twitch cyber terrorists out there? All right. All right. From Sweden, being away from Twitch for some time now. Interesting. All right. Copy that. All right. So many, uh, there's so many crazy people in the world. Anyway, okay, let's see if it worked this time. Profile, my hangar, change aircraft, all right. Texture on aviation, and here we go. Escape, liveries, hyper. Let's see if now we have a uh, little hearts on the top of the airplane. And uh, yes, we do. The top one, as Iceberg had warned us, uh, it's not quite there. But look at that, the other one appeared on the other wing. So so that worked, okay. We had to restart the sim, unfortunately. I want to try this one more time. It's so weird that you have to restart the sim now. It's, it's too bad. Just in case, I want to try it one more time. I'm just going to put a... Uh, I'm going to right-click here on the left wing. I'm going to go... Uh, let's give this... Uh, let's give it a, just uh, a... Uh, a color fill, okay. And let's make the one on the right uh, yellow or something. All right, uh, we'll hold out and click right between the two layers there to uh, make it only apply to, to that one. Okay, there's yellow. I'm just gonna go export as a DDS and save. All right, and before I save it, uh, let me just delete the other ones. I don't have to spend time renaming it. All right, delete that one. Back here, okay, save. And there it is. 
I'm gonna drag and drop and overwrite the other one. I would love to find a way that it you don't have to restart the game for it to for it to uh how about if you clicked on the world map and load up the world map would that force it to to refresh load the world map uh nope that's looked red to me still it used to be just change library that's all we had to do before and it would update it all right go back but I think there's probably easier ways to do this. I'm not a pro of this, I'm just a total amateur, okay? There's probably easier ways to do this. Uh, I know there's people that use Blender to paint these things. I, I don't know anything about 3D programs, so... Uh, but nope, it's not loading it up. I, I'm using Photo... It's basically a Photoshop clone. Um, uh, while, uh, Joey, it's this one right here. Hey, Firehead, how you doing? Got the sop with emote there, thanks for dropping by. Try dev mode, I dare you to shatter my illusion of not being a dummy. Uh, dev mode, dude, uh... Let's, let's try... W would dev mode refresh this? Let's try it, okay? Options, uh, general options. Things in the bottom right. Developers, developer mode on, okay? Apply and save. You're gonna get the frame rate there, we could turn it off probably. Okay, tools... Uh... I don't know, what, is there a way to, uh... I'm a total dummy of dev mode. I've never used it other than to create a thumbnail for the, for the, uh, for the thing. Right, library is hyper. We're there. Can I turn off the frame rates? Let's see. Dev mode, uh, tools, camera, options. Disable crashes, world objects, point of interest, display FPS, there it is, disable that. Although I, uh, Windows Aircraft Selector, okay, thank you. Windows Aircraft Selector, okay. Although I use it after loading up on a nice parking spot somewhere, okay. Interesting. So I can go, I can load the plane up and it'll, and it'll display outside of the hangar? Is that what happens? Let's check that out. I'm just guessing now. Let's go to, uh, yeah, should go, uh, let's go to Kitty Hawk. I've never actually been there. The sim. Good place as any. First flight. Uh, let's, let's put ourselves in the parking here. By where the first flight happens, ladies and gentlemen. And let's, uh, pick the Hypertext Hero Library. Uh, Hyper, there it is, Hyper. And let's click Fly. And let's try this dev mode Windows aircraft selector that Wild Chris has made. Right. All right. Uh, click on my. All right. There is the. We want to see it make the the other heart turn yellow. Potentially here with uh, with this thing. Let's see. That's what I've been doing. They, they make changes and reload it. Cool. Awesome. Man. Awesome. Wow, Chris. Thanks so much, man. Let's let's. Uh, I'm I'm gonna give another shout out here. Let's try it out. Aircraft selector. All right. There you go. Cessna Skyhawk 172 SP Hyper. Let's just sh switch it to the uh, Asobo. All right. Load. And boom, okay, there's the Asobo. Now let's go back to the Hyper. Load. Okay, it's not it's it didn't it didn't get the new library, but but maybe I'm doing something wrong because uh did I drag it and drop it here? Did I forget to do it to drag it and drop it here? Let's uh, let's see. Date mod filtering by date modified, so that's the latest one. Let's click it, bring it back here and move it there. Yep. Uh, it's the, it's the .dds and it is the one of the heart. Okay. But Microsoft Flight Simulator is not picking it up. Don't even need to switch away. Did you do the layout generator after changes? I did not. Let's try that. Let's go back to layout and let me, uh, open up my programs here. 
this layout generator i'll put the link here for whoever's arriving now i'll, I'll write this up afterwards uh, on a blog post if i manage to get it right okay but uh layout generator is this this is what i'm using to create cre ge to make the 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 layout gener the the layout file uh be written for us come here drag layout.json to layout generator not sure how tight it is, but changing graphics might alter the size a bit or two. Copy that. Alright, Windows, uh, Aircraft Selector. Try to just get a different one. There's a drift one, and let's go back to the Hyper one. Double clicking. No, oh, yeah, still not. It's not loading, I think, for some reason. Am I doing something wrong? Let's try to uh, apply the color filter to everything. Oops. Here, let's just do this. Let's do something like this. Let's put a, a new layer here. I'll fill it with uh, with yellow. Ooh. And I'll go to multiply to paint the, the whole thing a sort of greenish or like a, I don't know, a, a screen. So kind, of, kind of pinkish, kind of pinkish with yellow hearts. How's that? Pinkish with, with red hearts. Let's do it like that. Okay. Was it in a hidden sp Not sure. Was it in a... When bacon fly. <laughs> File export as again. DDS save save file um then again i'm gonna go back to um i didn't have to d to do the layout generator again because you're, we're, we're not changing the in, in the past i didn't have to do that this, this may be something of, of uh with the latest changes all right i'm gonna just delete uh, i'm filtered by day modified here here as well so i'm just gonna delete the wings here Move that one there, and uh, remove that little one. Okay, let's try one more time. I'm gonna get a Boeing seven four seven Pacifica. Yeah, Microsoft usually let these things through as long as the name is right. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right, back to the uh, hyper library we're trying to work with. But nope, it's not, it's not, um, let's try one more time the, let's see if the, the layout generator will work again. Because it, it also gives you, a, it also, the layout generator also puts the correct file size, that might be the case. Uh, a different color might change the file size. Alright, layout, the JSON on the layout generator. It's done. All right. Back here, I'm gonna load a different one. This is amazing. Now I can design libraries on my own downtime at work. <laughs> that's uh, I, I, that's what I I spend a lot of time. Uh, I I like having my my libraries custom for the stream. Oh look at that. Okay, no, that's the that's the I thought I thought I had gotten it, but that's the other one. All right. But no, it's not loading. Let's restart the sim and see if, uh, and see if, uh, and see if restarting the sim will hopeless, 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 hopefully load up that pinkish library. But one more time, I'm gonna go here to profile. Maybe loading into the 3D world and and back into the menu here could uh, could change things around. I don't think so, but uh, I I think a, a huge, and I I think a huge it, it would be awesome for them to give you a, a library editor in the game, you know. But the problem with that, with with these video games, is that there's so many people that would just you know paint uh, paint like rude words and penises and all sorts of other stuff on their airplanes, and then uh, Microsoft wouldn't like that for their marketing. So I think that's the main reason they this is way down on their list of. Uh, of priorities okay all right so we got two hearts by restarting the sim 
We couldn't get it. Now we have to restart the sim, it seems, unless there's another way. Hey, Mort, how are you? I fall off my chair if it hit the building and crashed. <laughs> this is a technical stream, Mort. We are attempting to paint bananas on the floats of the new Microsoft... Uh, um, Let's before I start it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. Let's try to float one now uh, on the new uh, C-172 of the floats. We're trying to paint that airplane to learn how to do that. Okay. We managed to paint a normal airplane, the normal C-172 of the wheels, even though now, unlike before, it seems that you have to restart the whole sim in order for it to pick up any changes to your um, your file. So let's. Okay. So we've got the uh, Subway Aircraft 172, Garmin 1000, Hypertech Zero Livery done. Now let's go to Microsoft Flight Simulator, let's go to Official, the Steam, and let's go and, and copy the big folder, not, not the library ones, but the folder with the whole thing, okay, a Sobo Aircraft C172SP-AS1000, which is the Garmin 1000 one that comes with the standard version, I'm going to copy that, notice right click, copy. Uh, in in uh, I think it's out. Ember's asking me if this work from word to word. Yeah, hold hold, hold out. Gross. That's fine. I'm doing a technical stream as well. Amber asking for some. Uh, I'm the tech support of our family. You know, you're probably familiar with that if you deal with computers. All right. Yeah, got it. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, I'll play a little sound file for Amber. Here it goes. Or how about this one? And uh, Wild Craze had mentioned that uh, we should, uh, I should get a Steam Deck. But you know what we're going to do in another technical stream, ladies and gentlemen? We're going to build our own Steam Deck ourselves. Okay, that's coming as well. I, I, I think we're going to be able to do that, okay. All right, so back to this. Where were we? We are going. I'm going to go to on the official Microsoft Flight Simulator official folder. You don't change anything in here because then it will break your game. Okay, you want to copy what you want to change here. I'm going to right click on the Asobo Aircraft C172 SP AS1000. Right click, copy. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to the community folder, and this is where you change everything. Okay. All right. And I'm going to paste. All right, and it's gonna copy all that stuff for you there. All right, you're making a copy of the official one. This one, I'm gonna to rename to uh, uh, banana. Okay, we're gonna call this one banana. All right, and I don't know how to do this. I haven't been able to get this one painted, so that's why on the title of the screen, I'm asking for help. If you know how to get these new float planes that came out yesterday painted, please help me out here i'm gonna go as far as i've been able to go and then i'm gonna fail and then we're gonna try to break our heads together and try to figure this out and later if we, if we manage to figure out I'll, I'll i'll publish the the skin i'll write it up as a blog post and i'll publish on the internet to help uh the, who comes after us okay so here we go okay banana I, so we've done hyper now we're gonna do banana the difference between banana is when you go in there you go to sim objects you go to airplanes, all of a sudden, whoa, there's not just one more folder, there's three folders now. There's the the default one, there's the floaters, and there's the skis, okay? So, my first question is, when we did the other one, the hyper, and we went to airplanes, here, I, I renamed that too, I put an underscore hyper there. Now, on this one, on banana, do... I put underscore banana on all of these or just on that I don't know I'm gonna try to put on all of them for now unless someone thinks uh, that's not a good idea underscore banana here I'm gonna put and another question do I put the underscore banana and then floaters I'm just gonna put underscore banana on the end of everything here okay but underscore banana and here underscore banana okay and then I, I'm going to start by trying to put something on the wing, not on the floaters. I'm going to leave the, flo the flotation things for the bananas last, okay? But, so the wings, 
are in this one, are in the are in just banana. They're on, on the floor on skis, okay. Those these are the, the stuff underneath the plane. Let's try to put something on the wing first, okay? So let's go into banana. Alright, this is looking a little different from the other one too. You have all this other these texture folders, and I'm gonna try it the way I, I knew how to do it before, which is I'm gonna right-click on texture, I'm gonna copy, then I'm gonna right-click, I'm gonna paste. Okay, it's gonna make a copy. Copy, and I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna rename, and I'm gonna go dot banana. Okay, keep it lowercase, okay. And then uh, in aircraft config, I'm gonna edit that. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down, and here you have flight sim 0, flight sim 1, flight sim 2, all this stuff. We're just gonna copy the flight sim 0 here, or, or one of these other ones. Okay, let's copy flight sim 4. Then uh, go down, paste, we'll change it to Flight Sim 5. And instead of Air Traffic Free that we just copied, we're gonna call it Banana. A nice fruit, not my favorite, but you know. Oh, I'll, I'll take it. Okay, model, air traffic. The model can. St should I rename all this Banana too? I think we should, right? Okay. Let's go. Uh. Should we, should we rename all this? Let's do it. In case you wanted to, to change that. Mm. We, we're just doing the textures here, so maybe that's not that's not necessary to change the model. We're not going to mess with the model. We just want to mess with the texture, okay? I don't want this to be too time consuming. Let's call it banana. The texture is the important one, because we want to... We're reading the textures. We're not going to change the sound of the thing to make it sound like a banana. We're just going to make it maybe painted yellow to make it look like a banana. So, uh, or green if you prefer your bananas. That's a whole other discussion, like pizza. You like how you like the topics of your pizza. How do you like your bananas? You know, green or, or yellow or almost black. Okay, um, back to, uh, and then uh, there's one more thing that we want to do. Uh, you, okay, you variation. I'm just going to call this, uh, I'm going to put a, I'm just going to change that. I think that was it was your variation i'm gonna change all that i'm gonna call it banana over here too so it gives a nice little name underneath uh, in in the in the aircraft selection there it'll be banana okay and we can even give it a, a custom flight number if we want uh atc ID, we could give a banana okay all right so flight sim 5 i just took the 4 i copied it i changed it to 5 on the title i put banana there on the texture I put the same name, this is important, the same name as texture.banana, okay, I just copy that texture folder, folder, I made a copy of it, and I put dot .banana there, that's what that's going to look for right there, okay, now I'm saving this, alright, now finally, we're uh, not finally yet, but almost there, we're, we're going to go into texture.banana, and we're going to look for the wing, because we're going to start with the wing, and the file we want to edit is... Um, is uh where is it airframe okay once so it's to airframe wings okay wings dot p dot albedo albed dot png dot dds okay i'm gonna go back to uh photopea uh i'll just uh i'll just save this psd so we don't lose our wonderful little salmon pink color with little hearts i'll close that and I'm just going to drag Cessna C172 SP airframe wings albedo.png.dds into Photopea and boom, okay, there it is, alright. And we're just going to try to change this to make it yellow, okay, so I'm going to make a new layer here. We already have a yellow there. I'm going to press Alt uh, backspace to put that and I'm going to put uh, multiply. And that will give us a nice yellow color on the whole aircraft. And for, uh, you know, for uh, uh, completion's sake, we're going to look for a picture of a banana on DuckDuckGo image search. Uh, whatever comes up there. Uh, this one is fine. Okay, I'm just going to click and drag that and bring that into, uh, where was it? Uh, in PhotoPay as well. Where's our banana? There's the banana. I'll make that multiply as well. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to look great, okay? It's going to just, this is just for, 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 uh, 
for demonstration purposes. We're gonna put a little banana on our on our wing here. Oh. Alright, that's fine. We'll put a little banana there. Then I'm gonna go save us PSD because we don't want to lose all this uh, extensive work we've done here. This little uh, masterpiece. And then we're gonna go export as DDS and save. Leave all the, that default. Then we're gonna go into our downloads folder. And since I've been doing all this other stuff, it keeps putting numbers on the side, but that's fine. I'm just going to copy that, or I'll leave it on the side here to show you. Uh, let's just dra uh, drag this into here. Uh, filter by name, and we should see our little wings too there. I'm going to rename the other one to uh, original so that uh, we don't lose that in case there's an issue. Original, I'll just put an original there, and then I'll remove that little two there. So. That is loaded instead. Okay. And to double check that that's working, uh, yeah, I'll just close that. I'm just going to drag it into Photopea to make sure that we got the right file and that it's uh, the yellow one of the banana. It is that's fine. Okay, so that was under texture banana. We edited the AI aircraft to point at it. The banana, okay, flight sim 5 there. I don't think I have to do anything up here. All right. Last uh, last step for this thing is uh, we go back to the root of the banana thing. There's this thing called uh, layout.json, and you go to you download this utility here that this kind of person provided, and you just uh, extract it somewhere on your computer. In my case, I just made a file, a folder called Programs. There it is, Microsoft Files. There, Layout Generator, Executable. I'm just gonna drag our JSON file onto it. It'll open a little terminal screen. It'll close again. And what that does is, when you scroll to the bottom of the JSON file, it basically goes through all the folder structure and it writes. There you go. It puts. It, it takes what the folders we renamed and it writes it into this JSON folder. Okay. And that should be it for the banana thing. But I haven't gotten it to work yet. To, you know, spoiler spoiler alert. When I was trying to do this earlier today, it wouldn't work. Let's see if it works now because maybe I, I get lucky that, you know, I'm streaming this now. So maybe it'll work now. If not, we're just going to troubleshoot here. You know, we'll, we'll call uh, Bill Gates. We'll call... Uh, Bill Joy, uh, we'll call uh, whoever is needed to, to help us. I don't know if Bill Joy is alive still, but... We'll call Sobo Studios. We could, we could get the number and give them a call, although in France they're probably out of the office now. Although during pandemics tight times, uh, everyone could be working all the time, you know? Productivity shot up. That's why tech companies let everyone work at home now. Because they saw productivity shot up during the pandemic. Who would have known that? You know, being able to work from home would make it productive. Productive. Product. Productivity. productivity. Shoot up. Hypertext Hero and productivity don't go well together. You know, I'm not a very productive person unless it's something I enjoy. I enjoy flight simulators, so we're trying to be productive here. I enjoy drawing too and messing around with graphics here and there. Loading up. Weird music. This is uh, Winter Birds by Epidemic Sound. Interesting, they is by the actual company that I'm using. To yeah, Epidemic Sound, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you pay like a, you can do a free trial for a month. After that, if you're using it for streams, you can pay like 15 bucks a month and you can use music without getting uh, takedown requests. That They guarantee that at least. We'll see how it goes. Joey says, and you're modifying a copy of the original C172 float files, right? Uh, yes, um, it's a copy of it. It's... Um, Back uh, back here, uh, it's in the community photo. I did this. I went to Microsoft Flight Simulator. I went to the official Steam, and then I you copy whatever thing you want to work on a Neo, uh, a Baron G58. You you copy that, then you then you 
you go into community, you paste it there, and then you rename it. And that's how we've been doing. I've managed to do a regular plane. I haven't managed to get the float one to pick up my changes yet. And that's what we're trying to do right now we're with this float called Banana. Right? I'm downloading a version of uh, Flight Sim.2. Yeah, there they have ready to, to use ones. You just put that in your community folder and it should just work. That's probably actually easier. In my experience, it's been easier to modify third party uh, paint schemes like the BN2 Islander, for example, because they often come with, uh, with uh, PSD files of layers and they tell you where to paint. That's super helpful. The Microsoft uh, ones, you're on your own. You have to go in and, and sort of figure it out like we're trying to do right now. And these float planes just came out yesterday, so I haven't seen any libraries for the Microsoft Flight Simulator in the default float plane. So I thought I'd come in here and try to figure it out because I like to plane, paint my little planes. Okay. All right, let's see if it worked. The pro Spoiler alert, it probably won't work because I broke my head yesterday trying to make it work and it didn't. Okay. Change aircraft. Not the texture and aviation uh, G1000. We want the float one. There it is. Floats. Go back, libraries, and boom, nothing happens. There's no libraries there. Now we're going to try to figure out why, ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to be annoying, it's going to be time consuming because we're going to have to restart the sim every time. Okay, but see, nothing, uh, we could go and, and check the the regular one, okay. We can go to change aircraft, we can go to uh, extra aviation, says one seems to G1000, the regular one. Go back, uh, libraries. The hyper one is there, but the banana is not there. Okay, I'm not surprised by that because uh, I I follow I I just copied them the the other one. But let's see if uh, if it actually uh, let's see if it picked up our pink aircraft at least. Boom! It did. Our wing is there. Okay, so so we did pick up our pink thing from the other one. Our pink wings with the two hearts from the other one. But um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to do this one. We're trying to do the uh, the float ones, okay? And we can't. F I can't figure out how to do that. That's why I'm here, right? So let's quit Microsoft Flight Simulator again, and let's go back and try something else. Copy that, Joey. Cool that you're trying it as well. All right. So banana. So. The first thing I'm going to try is something that Wild Craze suggested uh, in the earlier stream today. I'm going to go into uh, the banana folder and I'm going to go into texture.banana, okay? And inside texture.banana, there's texture.config, okay? There's this texture.config file. I'm going to open that up and it has these fallbacks for texture folders, okay? Um, I think this is where we do it. So here I'm gonna type texture dot banana. Is that is that gonna work? A am I am I am I getting confused here? This is really confusing for me. Yeah, texture dot banana. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm gonna do. And this is the nature of troubleshooting. It's slow and cumbersome. Any line near bottom before generic with the texture dot banana. Okay, let's try that. Thank you. So I leave the top uh, normal and I and I put uh, new new line near bottom before generic. Okay. Then rearrange the numbers. Okay, copy that. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put that six. We'll put that seven. And is it texture dot banana or do I or do I leave it like that? Oh, we we don't need yeah like that right no uh no uh trailing backslash we try that all right i saved it okay i saved it let's load up microsoft flight simulator one more check a one two three four five six seven and this ladies and gentlemen the, the thing we're doing right now is kind of what they do in in software companies they have like a pair programming i've i've only done it for a little while it can depending on the person who you're pro pair programming with you know it's basically like you're programming together with someone else someone drives on the keyboard someone's looking over their shoulder right right now i have all of you looking over my shoulder and it's like no that's wrong change that you know it's pretty natural to make mistakes when you're editing text files when you're looking at 
200 million like files and folders okay we did that and now uh, I, I probably need to I probably always should uh, drag the layout JSON after I make any changes right because I don't know how how necessary this is but I it does have it does under layout.json it does have a number there which is the size so if you're editing a text file I might change its size and uh, that may be important or not I have no idea but I'm just gonna do it anyway there okay and now we're gonna start Microsoft Flight Simulator again and um, and keep crossing our fingers every time we start to see if we can uh, get this uh, this uh, change to the to the library to to be detected and loaded by the game. Yeah, one of the I'm going to have to maximize the window so I can read what you're pasting. <laughs> Hold up. Uh that better um i don't know an easy way of 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 uh i don't know an easy way of uh, of changing the the size of text in the explorer in windows but i know uh, here in uh in notepad plus plus which is i'm a total amateur with because i use i use a mac for my day-to-day -day work i don't use this the pc is just for the gaming and the streaming so i'm an amateur of everything in pc in terms of software but i just hold a uh, control and uh and mouse wheel and it makes the text bigger i just uh, found that out by mistake the other day oh uh that's not where texture banana goes those are textures the texture banana doesn't cover okay oh dear okay I'm going to have to Okay, you want your hyper. Ah. But how do I make the banana one read my hyper? How do I make the, the banana one? Here's my folder structure. All right, community. Is there a way for me to, oh, I can make this bigger in the same way maybe? Can make the text bigger. Is there a way to make text bigger in Windows? I can use that uh, uh, zoom. Change zoom increment. Uh, mag turn on magnifier. Uh, Apple Plus to turn on the magnifier. Okay, so let me put this in details. And Apple Plus. There's the magnifier. It should be coming. Stand by. Boom. Whoa. Wow, okay, the magnifier is, is, is making me go crazy now. I don't know if you're seeing this. So I have these two folders. Banana and Hyper. Okay. How do I make the banana read the Hyper one? Okay, you want your Hyper, that's what Fallback does for what floaty bits don't cover, use Fallback. Okay, and we want Hyper with bananas. Okay, so we're gonna put the bananas in Hyper. Okay. So basically, you're saying I'm gonna put. But how do how and then how do I get uh, Microsoft? Let me let me go into Microsoft Simulator and show you what I'm talking about here. In profile, okay, in my hangar, how do I get the float plane? Okay, how do I get? Uh, this is what I'm trying, the first thing I'm trying to do here is how do I get any library other than the default to appear here to be selected? What do I have to change to make any other library here appear in the float airplane? Because there's only the default. I don't know how to make another one appear. That's the main thing that, uh, that the first thing I want to be able to do before we even show bananas. Okay. I have uh and the f the thing that I did for hyper for it to work is I came to official I went to steam and I copied the uh C172 1000 I copied the library I didn't copy the big one but the library ones they don't have the float things they only have uh 
there's there's no floats it's just fuselage uh, wings you know and yeah that's sort of important yeah so how do we make another float live reappear that's the first thing i'm trying to do that i can't figure out here if we go back to uh if we go back to community and we look at the bananas one which is a copy of the of the the folder that contains everything not just the library okay that, we, that we've called bananas we are trying to get the default even floater to to make the wings yellow or the whole plane yellow for example all right maybe we have to go in here maybe we have to go to ai aircraft manifest the uh, Let's edit the manifest. Bananas. Okay. And hypertext hero. Banana. Cat. We'll call it like that. Okay. Maybe you had to change that. Okay. That could be one thing. We're gonna have to restart Microsoft Flight Simulator for it to, to to check. Just a thought that it might need a different name. Uh, yeah. It's it's very important the naming of the of the stuff. That's how it picks it up. I th I'm thinking that also. Um, Since, since we're picking a floater, okay, since when we're going to Microsoft Flight Simulator, we're picking a floating airplane, I think we're going to have to change something here as well, inside of floaters. I think that probably we should go into aircraft in here, and we should uh, modify things here too. Okay, so let's go to the bottom, and let's do what we did of the other one. Um, let's go to Flight Sim 4. Let's copy all that. Let's paste it. Let's change it to flight sim.5. And instead of air traffic 3, I'm going to call it bananas. Okay. Uh, uh, model, I'll leave air traffic, but I don't care about the model. The texture is what, I'm, what I care about. So I'm going to put bananas. And maybe you're going to have to copy that and put texture bananas there. That's how it's going to pick, pick it up, maybe. I'm gonna leave that lowercase, right? And also, let's give it a you you a variation. I'll just hard code that in bananas as well. All right, and the ATC ID. I'll call it bananas. Well, okay. I'm gonna save that. But that's just I copy the top one. Okay. That's another thing I was curious about. Thank you so much for helping me here. Wow, crazy. You're really being an awesome help. Okay, let's copy the top one. Flight Sim 0. And maybe that was the issue we're having with the other one. I copied the, the AI traffic instead of the actual one. I'm going to paste here. I'm going to rename it from 0 to 5. Floaters uh, Bananas. And uh, Texture uh, Bananas. And we're gonna go uh, ATC ID, we'll call it bananas as well. And also in the UE variation, that's not the default. I think I can just hard code this there. I don't have to put dot bananas, right? Because I think this is a code that's gonna load something up. I think I can just hard code it here. Bananas. All right. I'm gonna save that. So this is under the floaters, okay? But since I had forgotten to do it on the other one too, we'll go back and change it on the other one. But we'll stick with this one for now and i'm gonna copy that texture folder i'm gonna paste it i'm gonna right click on it i'm gonna rename it to dot bananas and i'm gonna open this up but look at this over here it's just a floating stuff it doesn't have the wings okay but in the texture.config it does have that fallback and we did uh put if we go check, we did rename uh, this folder underscore banana. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that name. I'm going to come here and I'm going to put underscore banana and hope that it picks it up from there. 
Okay, save. Look for the one of is user selectable is one. Thank you for that. Let me just uh, copy that from the chat and put it back uh, and go check uh, again uh, and make sure I'm in the right place here because you're, you're gonna go. We're gonna go crazy. You know, it's actually bananas. No, it's uh, uh, aircraft.config. I'm gonna fire the user user selectable one. Yep, is the plane selectable by the user? Oh man, this is probably what I was getting wrong. This is awesome. Okay. And this is under flight sim 01, okay? And I copy that all the way in the bottom here. I called it 5. I gave bananas. I told it to look uh, into the texture dot bananas. So basically, this texture here, what it does, it looks in this. It looks like at this, and it just reads the, anything after that dot. I think that's what that does. Okay. And down here, is user select, but one is the plane select by the user. Awesome. Okay. I think that's going to be helpful, okay? I saved all of that. Let's go back to the root where the layout.json is. Let's open up our little programs folder where Microsoft layout generator is. And I'm gonna, let's see. Accidental space, that's where I think a space might be a bit brave. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, I forgot what you were referring to there. I could have put an accidental space somewhere. Let's go and check everything. Texture folder, okay. Alright, let's go back to the quickly before we do that, before we not quickly, I'm I'm in no rush here. Floaters, texture dot bananas. In the texture dot config. Do you wanna go on Discord? If you prefer. I don't know if I'm driving you nuts, okay, by talking here. If you wanna go on Discord, we can do that. No space in the end here. Texture folder, okay. Oh, you're right. See, here you go. Here you go, Lishman. Look at this. This is the computers for you. That little, this little, there's a little space here. That's why two pairs of eyes better than one. I had put a little space there. I've bug fist, I've troubleshoot things that took me like three days and it was because I put a comma somewhere where I shouldn't have, okay. That's what happens with computers. Thank you, Wild Craze. An applause for Wild Craze. All right. Let's keep going. All right. So back to the root to where manifest.json is. Open up my programs folder again. Drag layout.json onto the layout generator. And let's let, try to start up the sim again. Let's cross our fingers up. If we can get at least uh, the bananas to appear on the roof of the, or let's see if at least we can make it a, a user selectable plane in the float float uh, in the aircraft selection screen. If we can select a different airplane called bananas, that will be a big step forward. Xbox Game Studios. Microsoft wants everyone to buy an Xbox, but uh, Game Newer says, uh, you know, sorry Microsoft, uh, everyone's gonna buy a Steam Deck instead. A lot of people are gonna buy Xbox, but a lot of people are gonna buy Steam Decks too. Alright. I wonder how Microsoft fights when they will run the Steam Deck. Apologize for these this, these labels below me that because I the gift sub goes over the goals and stuff. Um, I have to work on that to make it a little smaller. 
What Steam needs is an online streaming service. I wonder, man, that would be awesome. I, I, w I would love to have an online streaming service that didn't take 50% of everything, you know. That is, and, and that is not Facebook, that is, that is primarily focused on video game players and not, you know, just, uh, like, everything. Alright, moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if our floater lets us select a different library. Oh, look at that. There's two here now. Huh. Instead of just this one, there's two and they're both called the same. Okay, that's uh, interesting. So this is just a default one, nothing happens. We go back. Uh, libraries. No, we go back to change aircraft. There's two now. Okay. And I think that's uh, a result of us copying the whole folder instead of a particularly li library folder. We're going to have to figure out how to do that. But let's see if at least we can uh, see a different paint job on this. Nope. No go. Like GeForce Now Stadia. GeForce Now actually supports Steam Library, but I'm too stingy to pay for it. Yeah, we'll have to change the name somewhere else too. Yeah, it's... Uh, but it didn't pick up, uh, it didn't even pick up the banana library, so, uh, that didn't work. We're going to have to change some other stuff. Let's go back. All right. Okay. I'm in community. The Subway Aircraft CM72 banana. Okay. Uh, the manifest, I already put bananas there. I... I changed uh, that. The layout JSON was changed. Airplanes. Banana. Did I put an S in the end of banana? Maybe. Here. I put S here. In the beginning, it's just banana. Here's bananas. I don't. I think I had put bananas everywhere. So that's another mistake I've made. Instead of calling it banana, I started making it. Let's check a banana uh, singular. Okay, let's make sure that that's the case. I don't think that's going to change anything here, but because... Uh, but I just want one banana. I want to make sure that that's the same. Okay. Let's go back to... Um, let's go back to uh, not the floaters folder. Let's go to the regular folder. Okay, but before I do that, let's on the floaters. I think did I had I changed something in uh, in disk texture config banana. Okay, and these three folders are all named. I'm gonna go bananas here, but these uh, banana singular, not plural. Okay, all right. Now let's go to original one, not the floater, and let's take a look. Texture banana is there. Uh, Let's go by filter by date uh, modified. I haven't. Interesting. Okay, no, there it is. Double check that the the graphics file is uh, is the updated one. It it looks like it is already. Yep, it's the yellow one of the banana. All right. Check that. Make sure the bananas fallback is there. Uh, although this fallback is going back and I, that's not where texture banana is so I don't know if that's gonna matter uh, I'll leave it there for now okay. um, we are gonna go into um, aircraft config and we're gonna make sure that uh, in the bottom here we have banana singular texture folder banana 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 Okay, ATCID banana. Yes, we have to change the name somewhere too. Yep, I saw that. Question is where? Because I'm going to stop talking and think.
Make sure that that's done. Right, look, double check. I'll do a search for bananas to see if I forgot to uh, plural somewhere. Did not. Okay. The wing. And a. It's fine. Old banana here. Underscore of banana here. I'm thinking that these folder names. I'm thinking that in here somewhere. I'm thinking that in here somewhere I think that here go fallback one two directories back okay so we are at uh, Simulagios Airplanes Asobo underscore ban banana okay maybe and this is what this is in the floaters okay this is the texture that config in the floaters Maybe I have to add floaters here. Although, let me double check if I put that same... Uh, did I put that same uh, wings albedo that modified the uh, skin? Yes, it's there as well, so it shouldn't matter. All back one. Yeah, I'm running out of ideas here. How do you get the game to pick up? And why is it why is it picking up uh, two Skyhawks right now, without giving us uh, the change of the on the U? Oh, here you go. U, U variation. I have banana here in the U variation. This is the one under floaters folder. Let's go back to uh, airplanes. Let's see the default one. Let's uh, take a look here in this one. The texture.config. Okay, this one, the fallback doesn't have that. Oh, here it is in the bottom. Yeah, it's there. Okay, this one here, I have that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get this. Score texture and uh, here I'll post, I'll, I'll just paste it there real quick and uh, copy and paste that. And uh, we'll change the numbering. Some really crazy random things to try here, but we're doing what we can. And we're gonna try it like that. See that? See that's the way to do it? I don't know. One idea is downloading one and look for clues, but saving for a bit later. Yeah, I think uh, I tried to do that yesterday, uh, downloading one. But the thing is, I haven't found any any libraries for the set, for the official Cessna 172 flo floaters. Yesterday, at least yesterday, maybe there's some today. Uh, I think that would be a better, a, a good idea. But I'm gonna try this this time. If if uh, if I can't figure out this time, uh, we'll just uh, we'll do a quick flight. And, and often when I do this stuff, ladies and gentlemen, I, if I haven't figured it out, instead of start, I, I start from scratch because there's so many things to keep track of. I just delete the folder, especially if it's a lot of things to keep track of. And I start from scratch to really learn it, which is annoying, but it's, uh, I don't know. It's the way that I, uh, 
that I generally roll. I don't think I need that there. Let's try that. Yeah, yeah. Especially, you know, with text files and stuff, there's so much clean slate. Like going to bed and waking up with a fresh head, fresh mind. Okay, let's try that. Going to back to community, the roots of the banana. Click on layout, uh, go to my and drag layout.json on top of the Microsoft layout generator.exe. If you're coming into the stream now, it's a little utility that will help you create the layout for you. There's the link for it. And what we're trying to do is get a paint job working on one of the new flow planes, namely the Cessna 172 Garmin with floats and Microsoft Flight Simulator. We can't get the... We can't even get a, the library screen on the hangar to show you the another option for the library, much less load it up on the, on the plane itself. I'm gonna try it, uh, I'm gonna go to the hangar and try it again. If the hangar doesn't work, I'm gonna turn on dev mode. I'm gonna load the plane in the game and see if that for some reason magically makes it work. And while we're waiting for Microsoft Flight Simulator to load, why don't we go and look at flight sim.2 is that like the main place that downloads uh to download uh uh stuff for microsoft flight simulator is one of the main ones i find your aircraft libraries uh cessna cessna 172 but i want to float one oh here you go there's a floater is this a new one this looks like a new one let's go last update oh newest first newest first okay here we go anov has got one there, ladies and gentlemen. We got the floaters coming in. Yes, they looked, there were none, but now there's some. There's an Italia one. Cool. So this is going to be the way to do it. We're going to find out how someone much smarter than myself figured it out, and we're going to just uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna follow their work. Okay. All right. Let's try that. Yeah, it's I, it's a lovely idea, Wild Crazy. I, that's how, that's how I always figure. I, I always I go and I and I get stuff that someone much smarter than I has figured out beforehand. You know, that's how being human works. We, we climb on the shoulder of prior giants before us and go from there. Okay, export. Let's while we're waiting for our effort to to load into Microsoft Flight Simulator, we'll. Uh, We'll take a peek at this sudden. Here you go. Sobo C172 SP AS floater is blue. Okay, nice. I like this because I already see that it's in a Sobo one. This is probably the latest one. And this is gonna be easier because instead of copying all the files, it's a proper library, okay? Take a look at their manifest, what they did of that first. All right, they didn't change the manifest. They, they left the manifest normal. And I, when I was working on this before, I, I didn't have to change the manifest for it to work. Uh, I see what you mean with change photo structure now that I've had a good look at it. Cool. Cool, it's fun, man. It's, it's, we're, 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 you know, probably not terribly fun for the viewers, but it's, learned to, it's fun to learn this stuff. And I promise I will write this up if we figure this out. Okay, I'll, I'll write this up. I'll put a library for us to download, but I'll write it up about how to do it step by step. It has the base aircraft in one and all the libraries in Scepter one. Yeah, so that's that's what was confusing me because it's it's much lighter weight for you to instead of having to make a copy of the entire airplane, for you to copy just the stuff you change. It's kind of like cascading style sheets and HTML and CSS web development. You, you you give a rule and it cascades down. And here we just want to change one little thing in the plane. There's no need to copy the whole plane, but you know, we're trying to figure out. But here's the here's one that works. Before we look into this and load up one that works and try to modify it, let's go and see if somehow we got something to work. Uh, profile one more time, my hangar. Uh, change aircraft. We want the floaters. We have two here because we're we're screwing around. Uh, we, 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 oh, one Ubas. We got it. We got it. Right before we we, we gone for help, it worked. Look at that. We got the wing. We got we got the wing, okay? I mean, it's not obviously we don't want two different aircraft there. We want to have only one. But 
Look at that. There's our banana. Ladies and gentlemen, an applause for Wild Craze, for Joey, for uh, Icebird, for everyone who's dropped by here on the screen. Uh, all right. We managed to, to, to just haphazardly make it appear, okay? It's not, it's not great, but, uh, but uh, we managed to haphazardly make it appear, and I think the thing was... Uh, the thing that happened is this here, the fallback. I added, I went back to the folder here, and um, and I added uh, the underscore banana to the fallback one on both the texture inside the floaters and the texture inside the banana. Now we have hope again, yeah. There's a little banana. Let's go take a good look at it to make sure that we're not dreaming here. Let's go take a good look at the banana. It would be nice to have a, a, a drone view that you can go to a particular part of the plane here. It doesn't let you go wherever you... It doesn't let you use slew view here, I don't think. Or unless there's a switch camera, maybe? Okay, three switch camera. Uh, Alright, oh, it's just down, okay. But uh, but now we have hope, okay? Okay, this is not ideal because, uh, look, it's uh, if you go to libraries, you can't pick it. We just, we just change the whole airplane. And we added a whole duplicate of the Asobo Studio airplanes in the sim. We don't want to do that. We just want to keep the same airplane, and we want to, uh, and we want to, uh, to, uh, to change just the library. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna delete. We're gonna quit Microsoft Flight Simulator, and we're gonna wipe this later. Okay. I, I won't delete it just yet. Okay. But we're gonna go back here to. Uh, to our floater, uh, where was it? No, that's the downloads, the one we're gonna use now to, to learn how it's really done properly. We're gonna go back to our uh, our community folder. Oh, where is it? Our community folder, okay. And uh, I'm just gonna take, uh, I'll, I'll leave the banana there. We'll try to fix it, okay, but uh, Let's move it out of the way. What I like doing is I put I like making a folder somewhere else on the computer called Microsoft Flight Simulator own libraries. I'm just gonna move that there for now. Alright, get it out of the way. Alright. And now we're gonna bring in this one here that we saw. Make a backup and smash it with a chopstick. Imagine a sledgehammer. Or chopstick is fine. Okay, I'll I'll pick it up with a chopstick later, or like Master Miyagi will pick it up. Whoa! Right, but right now we are going to um, go to downloads folder. Where is my downloads folder? It's a two million things here happening. Let me let me bring it in. Okay, let's do this. Let's let's move this program up a little bit. Let's move our downloads folder to the right and down a little bit. So now I have three windows. Okay, and here I'm gonna extract all this thing we just downloaded. Uh, oh, we had already extracted it. This, this drives me a little... Oh, here, here you go. This drives me a little nuts in, uh, in this interface of the... There it is, downloads. And we're going to drag and drop that over here. And we're going to see how they did it. And we're going to learn from the pros here. here whoever it is that, that made this one. Okay, we're going to go into... And he has the Simulogist Manifest layout. Okay. Simulogist Airplanes. Oh, look at that. He, all he has there is the Asobo C172 AS1000 floaters underscore blue. Okay. Okay. And inside he has panel dot blue texture dot blue in the aircraft config. All right. He has, the, did he change the variation up here? Let's go back to our, to our other one and check compared to ours, what we were doing uh, with bananas. Oh, I'm curious about that. Oh, I missed the Mac. Okay. Um, Aircraft.config, okay. All right, that's the first clue right there. Look at that. On our aircraft.config, we have uh, under floaters folder. There's no variation there. On his, okay, he added this variation here. Base container. Global aircraft 1000 
Little aircraft floaters. Okay, that's the first thing that is different from ours that I've noticed here. Not sure if it's your thing, but something I like to do is group elements by date in downloads folder. Uh, I would love tips about this stuff. Uh, I, 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 I have it filtered by date modified, but sometimes when I unzip stuff, it puts it somewhere else. I don't know why. So that's kind of, I think that's grouped by a date, but I'll right click. Uh, date created. Yeah, I got it. I'm doing it. Yeah, simple, but sometimes even if I do that, it puts it somewhere else when you expand it. I don't know why. Oh, no worries, dude. Oh, I appreciate your help very much. I mind you very much indeed. In a good way. All right. Uh, okay, so that's the first clue. They on, on there, they put this variation thing. I'm going to write this up when we figure it out, okay? And in theirs, instead of having to have all those other ones... They just have one, which is the blue, okay? That's good to know. Okay, let's go back to the folder, uh, to, to the community folder, to this floaters blue we downloaded. And let's check out um, what else they did, okay? Texture blue, did they do anything in the texture.config inside the texture.blue folder? Did they do anything different there? I'm not seeing anything, uh, there's no blue word here, so I don't think they changed anything in there actually, which is good to know. We don't have to probably mess with that. Alright. That one is doing it all the old way. Is the old way a worse way? I mean, if it works, you know. Let's, let's, now, let's, uh, we've turned off Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let's take what they've done here. And let's try to add our bananas and see if it works. Alright. I don't know if the old way is a, uh, is a worse way than, is a new way is a better way. But we're gonna try to, right now, okay, it works, just more space required, okay. Okay, interesting. Okay. I mean, it's less space requires than our bananas we were just doing because look, it's just the... Right. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to copy. He, the, he made the libraries for all versions of the aircraft. Okay. Let's just copy and paste. Rename. I'm going to call it yellow. Instead of one library for base aircraft, then separate ones for skis or floats, which depend on base. Hmm, okay. To so download a couple of others before we go with this one? Yeah. Let's take a look at the, let's take a look at a couple of others, see if there's one that's doing a more modern way. Because we want to try to do it the most modern way. Uh, there's another, oh, this is a normal C-72. Here's another float one, the Bagulu Cessna 172 Amphibian. Um, when was this from? This is from July 22nd, so this is older. So this is for, for, uh, for the, not the official floaters. So I, I'm seeing here, new is first. This is the only one I am of here, July 28th. Okay, 40 Asobo says, so this is all we have to work with, uh, War Craze, we're, we're gonna try this, okay. I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna paste. This is what I'm copying here by this, uh, kind of person here called, uh, Anov. And we're trying to modify that to try to make it yellow and with a banana instead. I'm just gonna call it yellow now, so we don't get confused with our stuff with bananas. Okay, I'm gonna call it a yellow. Let's make it capitals to, to follow his nomenclature, to his naming uh, system, okay? Alright, and I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna go to sim objects, airplanes, and I'm gonna rename everything that's blue to yellow. Okay. Rename. Yellow. Copy that. Rename. Yellow. 
Okay, I don't think there's anything blue here. I'll just double checking for one more time. Uh, oop, where are we? All right, and panel yellow. Let's. I don't think there'll be anything in here either. Let's look for blue just in case. Nope. Uh, normal. Okay. All right. So now let's go into aircraft.config. The base container, I'm leaving it there. It's going to look back uh, a Sobo aircraft uh, and the floaters. I don't, I think this thing is something special that it makes the base container maybe go look in the official folder of Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm not sure about that. That would be my guess. But now instead of blue, all right, there's just those blue. I'm going to search for blue and replace with yellow replace all and um, um, this one here I'll make lowercase because this is here I mean uh, I, uh, a title case I'm gonna save that I'll call it yellow and the ID as well just to give us one little thing to play with and now in texture yellow we are going to Get this, uh, where was it, the wings, albedo.dds, we're going to go back to photopea.com, you can find it, there it is, this is what you're using if you're coming to the stream now, ladies and gentlemen, to edit these libraries, I'm going to drag the wings that albedo.png.dds in here, alright, just a basic one, Okay, and I'm gonna make a big, uh, I'm gonna make a new layer here. I'm gonna call it yellow. I'm gonna, or we already chose the yellow color by clicking here. Let's make it a little bit brighter. There. And I'm gonna fill this with yellow. If you wanna can get the paint bucket, I know that it's already out of backspace or quick. I can do it with the paint bucket to show people here on the screen. Paint bucket is hidden under the gradient too, okay. But just, uh, Put it there and we'll change the layer type from normal uh, to multiply. Not gonna be exactly that yellow color, that's just a quick way to do it. And we're gonna get a picture of a banana and we're gonna put it on it. It's gonna confuse me because I'm gonna think of the other thing of bananas this, but whatever, let's let's do it. Uh, what else is yellow? The sun? Maybe try a sun then. Put a big sun there. Whoa, okay, there's a big sun. Uh, let's put, uh, I don't know, this one here maybe. This one's kind of nice. Video blocks. A power ball. Let's get this one here. I'm just trying to do something simple for a demonstration. For you may I suggest RGB EDFF00, sure. You may I suggest whatever you like. Let's do it. Let's, uh, I'll, I will. Wait, where's Protopez over here? Unknown file format. Oh dear. Okay. So what what do you want? Do you want uh, RGB? Oh, EDFF. Okay, let's do it like that. Boom. Okay, like a like acid yellow, huh? All right. Boom. There you go. Whoa. Okay, let's let's get a picture of the sun that works as well. Uh, for some reason that wasn't working. So let's get. I don't know. This one there. And just dragging and dropping without tab. And uh, is this gonna work with multiplier? Is this gonna have to, I think this is gonna have to be overlay. I, I don't know if this is gonna even is even gonna work. I'm just gonna do something real ghetto here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just gonna uh just uh do like that and mask it out. Okay, it's not. It's not gonna be as nice. Uh, or, or if, if, if you wanna be even more ghetto, let's. Uh, ooh, oh no, I left the page. Okay, so that's the problem with using Photopea is that if you press a wrong button, like I just did, you lose all your work. But we did save. Uh, we had download. We had saved it to our downloads. Uh, I think it was this one. 
There it is. That one has the bananas. Let's try to get the sun again. Let's try to get a, a sun, uh, sun without background. Maybe Google will have something like that for us. Oh, that's nice and happy. How's that? Here's one. Is that gonna work? Ah, okay. It says it's transparent, but it's not. What the hell? Okay. Bastardi, mamma mia! I'm just kidding. Thank you for letting me borrow the sun, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, L, no, M, shift M. I'll just uh, mask it right around there. The way I did that is, uh, you you went with that. You so you so you you choose the this little selection thing. You you make a selection. And then after on the layer, and then you click on this little thing here to add a raster mask. Okay. Uh, I'll make it a little. There's a banana on one wing and a sun on the other. That'll do. Okay. Put it on over there. File export. Uh, we'll save it as a new PSD. Opa! Oh man, another this another uh, bot coming in here. Thanks, but no thanks, bot. All right. Uh, all right, let's keep going. File export as DDS. Am I gonna have to turn on uh, that you have to follow for uh, or that you have to? What was it like? There's something. Oh, it's another one of those codes. Yeah, it, it sounds like uh, this uh, online uh, bot that you're talking about. You know, well, if you want to give me more follows, fine. But I think Twitch periodically comes and and wipes out all the bot things. Like Forder Learn to Fly had like 12,000 followers at one point and then it was cut down to four after they cleaned out all the bots. You know, it's it's just the nature of Twitch. Okay, so we saved that as DDS. There it is. Gonna copy it. We're gonna come back to our texture uh, yellow. I'm gonna paste it. And there it is. I'm gonna rename that to original. So, ooh, I deleted by mistake. Let's undo that. I'm gonna rename that to uh, original, the original one. And uh, this one here, we're going to remove that little number three, which the computer added because we had a bunch of stuff with the same name in the folder. And I think that's about, should about do it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if this is going to work. The last thing is go back to the do the beginning of the folder and we're going to click our layout.json over to our programs um, folder over Microsoft layout generator.exe if you dot executable if, if you're just coming in now this is the thing we're using instead of you having to go in and manually edit that file this kind person made, made this thing called Microsoft Flight Simulator layout generator where you can just drag the layout.json file drop it on the layout generator executable and it will open up the screen and automatically change a bunch of text for you and close it and that will make her put our folder names the yellow stuff in there for us okay all right so now uh we have the blue have the yellow have the hyper that was working i removed the one that wasn't working out there so we don't have those duplicate airplanes let's fire up microsoft flight simulator once again cross our fingers and hope that we have a yellow airplane with both ban bananas and the sun on the wings now. <laughs> Mort, how's it going? It's going, uh, we're almost there. I think we, with the help of someone who did it before us, I think we're gonna get there now. I think we're about to, uh, to win here. Um, all right. Hey Tim, how's it going? We're learning how to put uh, how to paint libraries on the new flow planes in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay. Oh, that banana's gonna st stick out because uh, you know I had to multiply for that, but I should just try to. We're putting yellow stuff on our airplanes: a sun and bananas. Okay. I mean, those bananas. Uh, I, c I could do it like. Oh, I have to rasterize it. Uh, go like that. Uh, whoa, okay. Invert selection. 
Boom. Okay, very ugly banana, but uh, we'll leave it like that for now. I'll save that PSD. We'll fill our download folders with the same name PSDs of number appended to them. Because we're very... Uh, we're using an online Photoshop clone and... Cheese would be good. We could fill this airplane of everything that's yellow. What's your favorite cheese, Cat? Mine, uh, I have several. Prob if I had to pick one, it would probably be mozzarella di bufala or uh, from Naples or pizza. Or uh, I like a good parmesan, you know, grated on stuff. You can cut pieces off. For me, that's almost like the perfect cheese. But I also like cheddar. I like uh, goat cheese. I love cheeses. Life is better with cheese. DHL truck going 32 miles per hour. Is that your favorite cheese? <laughs> hey, don't talk about DHL trucks too loud. You know, sheep on me here. Oh, Untitled Goose Game is on sale on Steam. It only costs $10 instead of 20, 50%. Off. The game that's been on my wish list for a while. The Untitled Goose Game, where you play a goose who causes trouble in gardens and, uh, and other places. Alright, moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Will this work? My hangar, change aircraft. We're back to only one floater because, uh, you know, we stopped our abomination that we were trying before. Let's click on the floater. Let's go back. Let's go to libraries. <gasps> And is it gonna work? We have the blue one that we downloaded from the internet. That's a pretty one. And now is our abomination uh, of this, uh, is our uh, Frankenstein blue one gonna work? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, 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 no. And one, two, boss on applause for the chat, ladies and gentlemen, we got it. All right. Where's my applause, there it is. There it is. It is a Cessna. Let's just do it. The wings are yellow now. You know, the sun's a little high there. The bananas are okay, but the sun's a little high there in the, in the forward leading edge of the wing. But look at that. We can now paint an airplane of floats. Uh, the, the work, the hard work was done by someone else. It wasn't done by us. It was done by uh, this uh, uh, person who made this thing. But we did quite a bit of work too. We did manage to get hours to load. Even though the plane uh, was broken, it was a hopelessly uh, un, uh, inefficient way to do it. But uh, <laughs> but here we are, and it's called yellow. It even picked up. Uh, it even picked up our uh, back in the in the file here. Um, wait, this was the old one. Let's not get confused by that. There's yellow. There's a uh, sim object, airplanes, a sobo, and I, you put underscore yellow of the name there. You rename, you, you put the, the name in the folder, you put the, in the first folder, you put underscore the name you want it to be. Then uh, in under airplanes, under sim objects, you put underscore the name you want it to be again. And then you put dot yellow, dot yellow, and whatever you want to change, in this case texture for the outside of the plane, and you could change the inside and the panel. And then an the aircraft config. This I think is important here, ladies and gentlemen. Variation, base container. Uh, this is looking back. I think this this uh, heading here, whatever this is called, this very I don't know, I don't think that's a variable, I don't know what that's called, but this thing here, I think this makes it look back into the official Microsoft Flight Simulator folders, into the Asobo aircraft, into the floaters, and pick up everything that you're not changing from the original so you don't have to you know copy all those files over here you just copy the ones you want to change I, I that's my guess i may be wrong and then here you put uh, on the texture variable you put yellow which points to this texture dot yellow folder by putting yellow there it's pointing the texture dot yellow okay the ue variation yellow that's what uh that is what's changing this i believe uh, if you go to libraries that little yellow name here okay we could even try to change it live but as we had seen before earlier in the stream it looks like you have to start the whole damn sim now unfortunately for it to pick up changes we could check it real quick Should we check it uh might as uh 
and the IATC air traffic control ID, the tail number, that's what puts it uh, on your tail here. Okay, that's what put, makes it up here over there. And um, all right, and this is important out here is you select the one. Thank you to Wild Craze for letting me know about that. Okay, so instead of having to copy all those all those files over, uh, all we had to, all we have, all we really need is. Uh, you know, it has a bunch of stuff here because the, this uh, this guy who did the skin, he, he look at it, he put a nice little dolphin jumping of some palm trees in a desert island where Tom Hanks were hanging out and uh, out uh, cast was that called? All right, now let's let's see if we can change the fuselage, okay? And this will double as an experiment to see if it will pick up changes live in the game, okay? Let's say we wanted to make the fuselage yellow too. So we're gonna come back here to textures to to the where we are at community, we are at. A Sobo C172 AS1000, the Garmin version, floater is yellow. We're sim objects, we're the airplanes. We're a Sobo la 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 underscore yellow. We're under texture dot yellow. And now we've modified the wings. Now we're going to filter by name and we're going to go and get the fuselage. Always ALBDA, which stands for albedo, I think. Don't ask me, I didn't invent these names, but uh, okay. It's a graphics thing. Let's go and get that and go to photopea.com. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna close that and let's drag the fuselage over to photopea.com. Uh, I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna take that same yellow that uh, that uh, Wild Craze suggested. I'm gonna use the little paint bucket here to to fill that layer of that yellow. Oh, I just wait. Yeah, to click there, and then I'm gonna change the layer to multiply. It's gonna change the color a little bit, it makes it a little darker of multiply. But we're doing something quick here, okay? All right. And why don't we uh, put like uh, I I don't this fuselage. I don't know where things are gonna go, but why don't we put something else? What what did, what had we said? DHL truck and a, some cheese. Okay, so let's go look for some uh, cheese. Uh, cheese. Let's see if it gives us something yellow. Boom, okay, we'll put a... Uh, how about this Gruyere over here? We put some Gruyere. The Foods Guy, okay, thank you Foods Guy. We're gonna take... We're gonna appropriate this uh, cheese from Foods Guy. I'm gonna come and we're gonna drop it here onto the fuselage of our, 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 our airplane. I can uh, do a very rough uh, masking version here of the lasso. Okay, I'll just do a polygonal lasso. We'll, we'll zoom in here. And uh, ooh. and we'll just do a very rough <laughs> polygonal selection of this weird uh, this piece of cheese here. And uh, it's not even my favorite cheese, but uh, that's fine. A very quick and dirty polygonal selection of this piece of cheese. All right. Uh, okay. And after we select a piece of cheese, I clicked on the little mask button down there. I'm gonna put that in the bottom of the airplane. You know, it's a little smelly, perhaps uh, like if you if you fart. And sorry, but you know, it's a, the, as as the stream gets longer, the jokes are gonna get worse here. I'm gonna put that over here. I'm not sure which way is up, which way is down here. And we're not only gonna put some cheese, but based on the stream, we're also gonna put what a DHL truck. Uh, DHL or how about a taxi instead of a DHL tux a New York taxi the good in the days when taxis actually existed here in New York instead of fleets of black cars okay more to find the good old days I used to spend hours making repaints for uh for flight sim 2004 aircraft awesome here we are uh, in the new days <laughs> not so good uh, the, the big the bad new days that I'm doing the same thing uh Let's put a New York City taxi here. How about uh, this? Could looks reminds me of Grand Theft Auto, and that I have to play Grand Theft Auto. Uh, let's see, uh, just a classic New York City taxi. Uh, we'll just take uh, uh, I don't know this one here. All right. Where's Photopea? Photopea is right there. I'll put in the New York taxi. And. Uh, and before I, lo I lose all this work here, uh, I'm gonna have this wonderful uh, uh, master work. I'm just going to do that. 
for the taxi we're just gonna we're just gonna roughly roughly paint it here you click on this thing here to you, you put the layer you select the layer and you click on this little button here to create like a mask then you click on the little mask then you click on the paintbrush then you make this black and white down here you select the black to hide things and you can use the the uh the the little square uh brackets to make it smaller or 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 not smaller this things and you can paint stuff like that very roughly if you want I had the Wacom tablet plugged in here. It'll be a, it'll be a little bit better than than what I'm doing here. But the nice thing about masking is if you make a mistake, you can come back and uh, and erase it. Uh, okay, very rough mask here of a of a New York City task taxi. Okay. Just a, a, a little demonstration of us. And if you press X on the keyboard, it switches from black to white here. And then you can, with the white, you can come and you can bring it back into a rough first pass, and then you can go and fix it if you really want to. You know go in and do things perfectly you would spend more time doing this but uh, i'm not i'm just doing a quick little thing there's our new york taxi uh we'll brighten it up just a little bit uh, with levels uh i should use curves if you want to do it properly but uh, uh we won't even do it we won't even brighten up and i'm just gonna put this new york city taxi i don't know where the heck this is gonna go because i don't know uh, where this things appear in this plane this plane microsoft Flight Simulator doesn't give you PSDs with layers, they just like throw you in the deep end, so I'm just gonna leave it there. File, export as, more, DDS is the file we want, save. Alright, then we click up here, we see where I saved it. Oh, there it is, Fuselage, I'm gonna copy that, or I'll just open up the... Uh... Pac-Man would be awesome, let's, let's put Pac-Man in there. I was thinking about putting Pac-Man as, as one of my emotes. I almost did it. I have one ready to go, actually. But the reason I didn't is because I put the River Raid one, and that's yellow. I thought maybe too much yellow, but I can put a Pac-Man as one of the follower emotes. Maybe I'll do it before the end of the stream. All right, and now I'm just going to... What was it? Fuselage we're doing? So I'm going to rename that to... Orig I'm going to put Dash uh, Original there, so we know that the Original is there in case we want to go back for some reason. And I'm going to just drag and drop the one we put here. And there it is. And uh, I didn't have to run the layout generator before. It used to just pick up the change live. Now it's not working anymore. It looks like we have to restart the, the, the sim for it to pick it up. But I used to just be able to do that. Change libraries, then click on the other one and it would pick it up. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to, and let's let's do one check. Let's see if we, uh, if we do uh, drag a layout.json to our program here uh which is uh this thing just in case you're coming into the stream right now which does it for you instead of you having to go edit that uh json file manually you just drag it to this layout generator and it'll go through that folder structure it'll put name i'll put all the right names go back here and try one more try time let's let's try to change aircraft to a textron cessna 208 see if that will make it pick it up Change aircraft back to the floats one. Liveries yellow. No, it doesn't pick it up. We want... There must be a way to make it pick it up. I can't believe that we have to restart the sim every time, but we don't know how to do it yet. We've tried both this change aircraft and livery, and we've tried the dev mode that Wild Craze showed us. None of those seem to have uh, convinced Microsoft Flight Simulator to reload that file. So we just are forced to... Stop the whole piece of flight simulation software and start it. What if you change the view as well? Um, let's try that. Let's try that. Try change the view. That could be something, you know, because the panels they change the inside of the air, the stuff inside the airplane. That's how I put like today is a good day in hypertextzero.com and my B and two under. I changed something in the panels. I can show you how to do that. Um, Simpsons and Pac-Man. <laughs> awesome. This is going to become a... I promise you. I, I promise. And this will become a blog post. And there will be a li downloadable library of a yellow airplane full of yellow things. And maybe that's going to become a thing in the stream. Another thing that's coming to the stream is going to be pizza. I'm stealing a, an idea from Sim Caesar. From this wonderful streamer called Sim Caesar. Uh, I'm, I'm stealing an idea. A few ideas from his channel. Uh, including pizzas. He doesn't have pizza in his channel as far as I know, but he does have donuts. And we're gonna... Pizza's gonna start becoming special here. 
in uh, the hypertext your stream ladies and gentlemen and i've been talking so much about pizza that i want to eat a pizza so bad that i think we're gonna make pizza on friday here and i forgot the other day i told you where i think the best pizza two of the best pizzas in new york city whether you like deep pan pepperoni or you like uh, italian style neapolitan i'm gonna tell you two we're gonna fly this float airplane by the two in my opinion the as far as i know you know new york i've scratched the surface after seven years but i'm gonna tell you the two in my opinion best pizzas in new york city buying this yellow airplane if, once we get it to working i have a mechanical disc so restarting the game takes a minute or two for me yeah mine mine is an ssd via usb3 it's it's a little it's faster than before now but uh it depends how much what i have in my community folder the most more stuff i have in my community folder the more the longer it it takes you're running this off a mechanical disc huh i run pretty much all, all my sims i run off ssds because they just run they feel much faster older games i have like a you know big uh like a three terabyte mechanical disc, an old disc somewhere. But I, I always, I always use uh, these things. It's like an SSD that I plug in a, a and it goes into USB three. I don't have like internal. I don't have any games on my internal hard disk. Internal hard disk, I just have Windows because I have a small mini ITX computer. It's this one here, and. Uh, there's just uh, there's a space for a couple of extra disks, but I had some problem with the, whatever the connection is called, the SATA connection when I was building the computer, and with USB 3.0 it just works, so I just get stuck with that. All right, let's check out our our masterpiece here, ladies and gentlemen. Back to uh, no, back to profile, back to my hangar, change your aircraft, back to the floater. I'm so happy we managed to get it working though. This is this is this is nice, you know. Okay. Change the floater, go back, libraries, yellow, and boom, now we have the, I think I had forgotten to put that, uh, that, uh, it's a different, it's like a, it's the, the sort of uh, acid yellow on the side, okay, but that's fine. Let's take a look at our abomination here, let's see. Okay. All right, I have bananas on the top right, uh, they're upside down, we have to fix it up, the New York taxi on the top. <laughs> We have a sun that's broken on the side. The cheese should be in the bottle. It's hard to see. It's hard to see the bottom though. The Microsoft Flight Simulator. There it is. It's it's there. We're gonna go fly all this and take a look. Okay. We could put make, we could make the floats yellow too. Should we stop and make the floats yellow? I do have to take a little break. Let's make the floats yellow and then we'll go fly. Okay. And the tail as well. We want to make the whole thing yellow. System system and stuff on SSD, but spinny disco for games and files. Cool. Spinny Disco, nice. <laughs> An applause for that con. like the word Spinny Disco. Thank you, uh, uh, Chris. Let me take a, a little break here before I, I before I'm gonna put uh, what was it? Simpsons and Pac-Man as well on the tail, and we're gonna make the floats yellow, and then we're gonna go fly this thing in New York City. I'll be right back and jump in. Thanks for being here. Thank you for the follow, remember Lunasec. All right, it's not a bot, that's nice. Thank you, remember Lunasec. Uh, I will go check out your channel and give you a, a stream back. Uh, momentarily, okay. Oh, not the outro yet. We're still, I'm still here. But uh, I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Um... Oh, copy that. Oh, it's this, uh, it's the, it's the, well, I don't know what you call it, some Swedish Twitch uh, personality. All right, well, thank you for the bot follows, whatever that is. But the thing is, if, if they don't type on chat, you know, they, they, they get wiped, or I don't know how it works. Have a good day, wherever.
Hey, copy that. Wow, Chris, thanks for letting me know about this crazy Twitch stuff. Um, yeah, I've seen it before in other streams, and it happened in my stream early on, but, you know, whatever. But, what world are we going into? Where is my camera? Boom. Uh, and we're back. Alright, we're gonna make the rest of the plane yellow. We are going to put uh, Simpsons, and we're gonna put Pac-Man on this. And whatever else yellow we can think of uh, is gonna be really ugly, but we'll we'll stick uh, we'll stick with this for now. All right. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do a, a a more proper thing later for the blog post. Okay, let's try changing the view to see if it picks it it picks it up. So let's go back to um. Just get my green screen here covering uh the. Higher. Let's uh, let's go back in there into our texture yellow folder, and let's take a look at the tail landing. Okay, it's gonna be albedo.png.dds. There it is, and then we're gonna go to photopea, drag that, and photopea.com. All right. And we're gonna pick a new layer. Uh, I'm just gonna put a, a standard yellow. This is like an abomination we're making here. I'm not uh, spending loads of time getting it correct. Later for the blog post, I'll try to do something a little better. We are appropriating the skin from uh, someone else for this. Uh, as mentioned earlier in the stream, this one here. So there are there is uh, this nice little drawing there that they put. Um, I'll leave that there for now. Let's take a look at the airplane what, where that is. That's on the tail there. Okay, maybe you're gonna cover it with uh, Bart Simpson or something. Or with uh, Pac-Man. Okay, so let's go look for Pac-Man. Uh, Pac-Man. Alright, that guy, or I think this one is more appropriate, right? Uh, so Pac-Man Wikipedia, this probably has a good rendition of Pac-Man. Um. Whoa. My favorite Pac-Man is Remy Gaillard's one. I don't know if you ever seen that. Do you want to see something crazy while we're here? I think we can. I think we can take a break to see something crazy, right? All right. I'll show you something crazy real quick. Okay. If you haven't seen this before, uh, I, I find it hilarious. I don't know. It, we might have different. Uh, we might have a different. Um... Okay, first we'll put the Pac-Man on the plane, and then we'll do that. Hold up. Uh, Images.google.com, and then Pac-Man. Uh, let's get a transparent one. All right. So that's that's fine. Uh, this one, okay. Drag that to Photopea. Drop. Oh, uh, no file for that's HTML. Okay. Uh. Uh. Copy image link. Can I paste it here then. Yeah, there you go. Photopea. All right. Oh, and it's not the thing. Okay, but it's fine. We'll just do this. We're doing something. Oh, objects must be rest. Okay, we'll just instead of doing that, we'll mask it. Oh, but the mask is the wrong, wrong way around. We'll reverse that and then we'll mask it. Okay, there's a little Pac-Man for us. Uh, control Alt E because if Control T, I open a new tab since I'm in the browser and not an actual piece of software here. And we'll put the Pac-Man in the back of the airplane eating. Uh, uh, that uh, tree or something is gonna it's really ugly but uh, we're just doing something uh, random here I'll bring the music back while I'm doing this whoa wait duplicate layer and uh, control out T all right we'll just leave it like that and last but not least, least we'll get uh, Bart Simpson. Or let's put Lisa. Lisa Simpson. I kind of like Lisa. There she is. 
Can I just drag that to photo pale? Let's see. Yes, you can. Fantastic. And Lisa is going to be there. I don't know where we're going to put Lisa, but uh, I'm just going to leave her here for now and see if that works. Uh, maybe over here. All right. File export as DDS. Save file. The bonnet. Uh, where is the bonnet? I don't even know where the bonnet is in this thing. Is it here? Th this is a tail. Okay. Well, I'm putting this on the tail. We might have more than one Lisa, okay? Okay, this is a tail landing. Uh, texture yellow. I'm not, I'm not even going to worry about... Uh, Keeping the original thing, I'm just gonna. Well, let, let's let's do it properly. What is it? Tail landing. Okay. Rename. Dash original. And here comes hours of Lisa. And now, finally, uh, some bananas on the on the bottom. Okay, where is that? Uh, floaters. I'll be there. Yeah, th this stuff always confuses me too. Okay. Well, 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 I'm gonna do that properly later. I'm not even gonna say this right now. Uh, well, let's save it. I might, might come in. It's PSD. I'll close it. And now we're gonna do the floaters finally. Okay. Again, uh, uh, another random yellow color on top with overlay. There's the inside of the floaters because it has the ores. We can go back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and take a look and see if we can kind of see where there's that little black thing there, which is there. Okay, so here's the outside of the floaters. So how about we try to put uh, bananas on the floaters there? Bananas. Um, there you go. We'll just take uh, these over here. Oh, can we just get that? Oh, not to Microsoft Flight Simulator, but to Photopea. Okay, one day maybe we're gonna have a video game that lets you drag images into it with paint. Oh, no. Doesn't like that file format. How about like that? Maybe a giant banana, I bet. Nope, doesn't like that either. Uh, copy image link. Right click, copy image link. I'm, I have a feeling that uh, th there's something of this file that Photopia is not liking. Yeah, it's not liking that. Okay, let's find a different one. I'm not going to spend time uh, troubleshooting that. Let's just get a, I don't know, single banana would be nice. Single banana, there you go. Be fantastico. Oh, uh, fantastico. Copy image. Oh, here you go. View file. Boom! A giant banana. We'll put it there. Bam! Okay. And uh, we're just gonna do a very ghetto uh, mask here. Have to reverse. And then we're going to very quickly uh, just resize it. Boop! Not like that. Um, let's just cr let's just make it really ugly and crunch it, so it's about the size of the thing. And then we're gonna flip it around. And I'm just I'm literally just going to. <laughs> I'm just gonna layer this on here. It's gonna be so ugly, but it for our purposes this will serve just fine, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, it's getting annoying to get close to that. Alright, let's let's just crunch it up really ugly. There. It's like a banana that has gone through a through a wormhole. The hell with it. We're just gonna leave it like that. Okay. 
and I'm gonna duplicate that and put it there as well and we are gonna export this as a DDS file <laughs> now that's a float <laughs> All right, and uh, then we're gonna come here to that's the floaters. I'm gonna rename the original again. Copy that over. All right, and now we're gonna come in here and just ch quickly see if we ch change the view from the inside view to the outside. It changes anything. It doesn't. Uh, we'll track one more time in case the gods are, are listening to it. If you click on one library and the other, it doesn't change. We're going to have to restart Microsoft Flight Simulator. And uh, just for... Uh, I don't think we need to, this, to, do, to do the layouts, Jason, but for the hell of it, we're going to do it. I should check that uh, while I'm, when I write the blog post I'm gonna check that if it's actually required it's probably good practice to do it um, and that should be done and now we are going to fire up Microsoft Flight Simulator again and it has been how long have we been here we've been up here for two hours 38 minutes and 59 seconds but we are about hopefully to fly an aeroplane that's yellow in New York. It has floats. And uh, with the help of the internet, with the help of the chat, with the help of Wild Craze, with the help of uh, Icebird and, and people hanging out here, Timmy Thumb, Galaxia, um, we are going to be able to make custom paint jobs for the new Flow Airplanes Microsoft Flight Simulator. And. Uh, I will make one especially for the chat here for you to download but there's also going to be instructions on how you can do yours yourself using all this free software we've been using in the browser quickly and haphazardly and uh, email from the artist society Wednesday night drawing session up. I didn't even know there was an end it was a night I'm not going to in that one, I think, because I think tonight I might stream uh, the Mile 2 stream of Vic. I apologize, Mort, if you're hanging out there, that I, I'm i not uh, flying right now, but I really wanted to figure this out. And since I didn't want to miss my scheduled stream, I thought, why don't I combine the two and, and do a, a technical stream of figuring how, out how to paint these? I think it's it's just a pleasurable thing to do, you know, it's you're in the real world there, you could, if you have the 3D modeling skills that I don't have, uh, you could go in and make a model of your real house where you live or something that you like in the world and put it in the video game. And that's just what I think is really amazing about this game is that, you know, not only make your plane, you can make places in the world. If you fly out of a, if you really like a spot and you want to go fly around it and, and see it from close up, you could actually make it in a 3D modeling program and put it in there. Maybe I'll get into a little bit into that eventually, but I know it's very time consuming stuff, 3D modeling. And um, I like uh, playing with 3D models instead of making them uh, at this point in my life, at least. All right, let's take a look. Uh, at our creationist so far. Uh, library. Oh no. Go back. Uh, change aircraft. The floater. Go back. And then the libraries. Yellow. <laughs> we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. We're going to go take it for a spin near the city. Lisa is, is, a, is off. I keep forgetting to fix that sun. The wings are a different color. It's all broken, but we do have Pac-Man in the back. We do have bananas uh, on, the, on the float, even though it's hard to see from this uh, position. And we do have a piece of cheese uh, behind us. Let's take this baby for a spin around the city, and I'll show you where my favorite, my two, two of my favorite pizza places in New York City are. All right. Um, let's start her up uh, right on top of the city. Let's, let's start up by the Statue of Liberty and fly in. We are live all players. 
Let's make sure that the correct library, the yellow one, is selected. And finally, after almost three hours. Oh, and I'm. Right. I don't have a yellow bandana, which would be appropriate, but uh, maybe we're gonna have to get one of those too. Is fresh kills still a thing? Uh, fresh kills? Uh, I know fish kill. Fish kill is the name of a town in north of New York City. And there's a good brewery there. I don't know anything about fresh kills. What's fresh kills? That was for the desert. All right, here you go. Uh, the volume in the game is pretty low. Let's turn it up a little bit. Once world's largest... Largest tip? Like someone tipping uh, someone who works in the restaurant? Or Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Our creation... Let me just get the volume low when I go to the outside of you because it's a little too loud. Look at that. Okay, we have cheese in the bottom. We've got uh, Pac-Man on the tail. <laughs> We've got Lisa Simpson on the right uh, uh, horizontal stabilizer. We have a New York City, of incredibly haphazard New York City taxi on the roof. We, we forgot the bonnet. Lisa is, has to go on the bonnet and it has to be... Uh, Least instead of black, and we have like some bananas that are barely visible on the side here. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Oh, tip garbage dump. Okay, uh, fresh kills, huh? Never heard of it, but we could find out. I'm sure that if it was once the world's largest garbage dump, it's probably still there. Here's Min 3 Craft Miner down here. And uh, and eventually for the yellow aircraft, we'll probably paint the inside yellow too, but we'll... Alright. Where was it? Was it in uh, out just outside New York City? I have to look that up. M1A2 Punisher. There's an Xbox player, probably. Let's do a low fly pass on him. And then I'm going to show you where my favorite pizzas are. A quick little fly pass. A lot of the Xbox players are like, why can't I shoot at anything, you know? <laughs> Oppa! Oh no, it's still this guy, huh? Or this bot or whatever it is. Am I going to be forced to turn on the, the thing that you have to chat before following? We'll see. Alright. Okay, so... Ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you like deep pan pizza, okay? If you like deep pan pizza... You go to a street in New York City... If you like a slice of deep pan pizza. I think there is such a thing. I think there's a, a setting on Twitch that you have to chat before you follow. That's chatter only. And I had turned it on when I had a bot like this uh, show up in the past. But I turned it off after a while. So maybe I should turn it on again. Alright. Um, uh, Staten Island. Okay, I've never been to Staten Island actually. That's the one part of New York I haven't been to. Whoa. Okay. So... If to go to Prince Street, you head downtown, okay? You head downtown. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. I think you're right, yeah. No, that would be good. Okay, you go downtown. And we're a little too far downtown now. I have to slow down. Where is Canal Street? Canal Street. It's right around here. And that's it, right here. This is Canal Street, right down here. 
Okay, then you keep following Broadway, which is gonna be, uh... This one right below us now. And then right around here, one of these side streets, on the east side, there's Prince Street, and there, there's Prince Pizza, okay. You go to Prince Pizza. It's hard to see here with a plane that's this fast, okay. You go to Prince Pizza on Prince Street. Excellent, uh, really is like gangsters looking type run it, okay. Famous place and it's just a hole in the wall, you just walk in, there's a couple of seats, but you just you pick, get, you get, you get the pizza. Oh, for goodness sake. And you, um, and you, and it's like so, it's, it's thick and, and it's so oily that the, the, if you have a pepperoni one, there's little pools of oil in the pepperoni, but it's so good. And, you know, if you're hungover, especially if you're really hungry, one of those slices of Prince Pizza pepperoni pizza will set you, will, will, will make you fine. Okay. I've heard stories about streamers getting abandoned because it looked like they bought followers, so be careful. Let's copy that. Uh, I, I actually reported uh, these, this thing, so I reported all of them already, so... Um, yeah, not gonna worry about it. I'm not... I, I, don't, I don't know how to make bots, you know. But, uh... Okay. This one follows immediately, just to, just to kind of like... Uh, it's probably like trying to get a bunch of follows on the, on their channels and then send those follows somewhere else. I don't know. Okay, so Prince Pizza is the first one. Now, if you want to sit down and you want to um, and you want to um, sit down and have a proper Neapolitan pizza, okay. okay it's not going to be like a Neapolitan Naples, obviously, because in New York we're not in Naples. But if you want to have a, a pretty damn good Neapolitan pizza. You come up here to, believe it or not, near Times Square. Okay, this I think is around 50th Street. 52nd, I think it's on 50th maybe, I don't know. So that's, there's Times Square, there's the west side. It is on the west side of Broadway. Around 50th Street, so around uh, down here somewhere. And right down here, on one of these streets down here, there's this other pizza place. And I'll tell, I'll write the name on chat right now, okay? Give me one second. This one is called uh, Don Antonio's. Don Antonio. Or Don Antonio or Don Antonio's, I'm not sure. But this one is on West 50th Street, okay? Excellent pizza, more Neapolitan. All right. So uh, that's that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long stream. It, we've been flying here for... <laughs> for a while so I'm gonna land this airplane by the Statue of Liberty and uh, we're gonna call it a stream maybe rate someone or see if someone's out there who we know who's streaming if you have any other if you have any uh, other requests in terms of technical streams for paint jobs I, I, I'm, I'm, I enjoy kind of figuring this stuff out and, and getting it working uh, so just let me know and uh, I will be very happy to, to consider your request and potentially oblige. See how slow you can go before you touch down. Alright, yeah, I've been, I've been touching down way too fast lately. Let's try to really... And let's let's do... Let me fire up SimToolkit Pro here. Oh, that's the little nav map. I always... They, they look so... There's something about it. I always want to click the little nav map thing instead of a SimToolkit Pro. I do that so often. Um, there's the bot, okay. Uh, nope, and I, I should map. We should we should do a proper long, uh, longish uh, flight with flight planning at some point too. It's been a while since so I've done that since the last race. That should be coming. Thank you, Wild Craze, for your prediction. All right, and. Um, Let's put the flaps down. We're gonna try touching down by the Statue of Liberty there, right by where Fumple Dumple landed with an airliner. 
Okay. Oh, no, our abomination of a, of an airplane, a. Uh, but the important thing is we we figured how to paint this uh, this flow amphibian floating Cessna 172. I'm gonna write that up in a blog post. I'm gonna make a, a, a fairly decent looking yellow skin, uh, and I'll provide a PSD too for you. And uh, p maybe together we can even get a we can even get a library with uh, the information about where everything is on the airplane uh, for the community uh, to publish for the community. All right. What's our airspeed? We are at 81 knots. Oh, he's in a he's in a Boeing 747 in development mode. Okay. That's pretty good. Wow, craze. Thanks for the guess and thanks for the win. Gears up for water landing. Gears up for water landing. Gears That's a better landing. landing. And there it is, our yellow Cessna. This nice blue sky here, complimentary Gears blue for our yellow. Let's turn off this annoying Gears thing. And uh, here, let's uh, let's park in front of the Statue of Liberty if we can. Quite a bit of wind coming from the left side there. Yeah, the handling of this thing is not really. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure how to. I'm just gonna leave it here. But I, I'm happy that we can plant full planes. I'm happy the full planes are 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 available. Let me update Wild Crazy's. Uh... Wow, getting close to sheep, but two points away, huh? Uh, maybe the, the is there a water rudder in this? I don't know. I have no idea. I, I I'm not I'm not an experience of war with uh, with these airplanes. The fuel selector. Oh. Um. Yeah. Look outside in a rudder. Let's take a look. Entra di sonno. Oh yeah, there's a little rudder there. Look at that. How do how do I engage the rudder? It's not. Oh wait a minute. Oh yeah, it does work, you're right. But it, it, it doesn't have a lot of authority. Maybe just it just you just have to move very slow. You're right. That's cool. That is cool. There is a little water rudder in this thing. There it is. And it follows your rudder. Look at look at that detail. That's really detailed, huh? Look at that. It's like down to that little spring on it. That's pretty awesome. I wonder if they if they use the work if they work together with those Bush uh, League Legends guys on this, or if they made it from scratch themselves because they made some really nice. Uh, there's our cheese on the bottom. A very haphazard paint job, ladies and gentlemen, of a yellow Cessna. We have a New York City taxi, uh, a Sun, Bananas, Pac-Man, and Lisa Simpson all uh, pasted on it in a haphazard manner just to see if we could get a, it could get a paint job for this done. I will be publishing a blog post uh, uh, in the next few days over at hypertextzero.com uh, showing you how to do this step by step. 
with a link to to this stream as well if you want to see us uh, you know pulling our hair and uh, to figure it out we used just to to go back a little bit we 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 did manage to figure it out but right before uh we used this existing file to, that we learned a lot from to to get it done more properly we used the microsoft flight simulator layout generator to generate our our layout uh, file instead of having to edit it manually and we also have been using photopea.com for uh for editing the files so those are the things that uh that we used to make this today and uh last but not least uh thank you so much for wild Chris for being here with me and helping me troubleshoot this and for galaxia cat to, to hang out and um and everyone else okay i'm gonna run the outro now and we're gonna go look for someone to 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 uh to raid uh thank you for the people um hanging out uh lurking around as well i appreciate you very much your presence here i may be back later for a, a stream tonight uh i think uh a mort wanted to fly together i'm not sure if after this long stream i'll, I'll do that today but if not today hey, there's many other days in the in the in the, in the future and uh maybe tomorrow maybe the weekend but if i do go on tonight and i'm on uh just message me if i'm streaming just either message me or go on discord and let me know and i will be very happy to fly with you in io2 or even dcs although in dcs i'm a total noob i have to really do my mappings there and all that stuff all right let's see uh who is out there ladies and gentlemen who may benefit from uh from a uh a hypertext hero raid here Let's check it out. Let's check it out. <laughs> a lot of people flying over New York City. Look at that. There is a lot of people flying over New York City. Look at that. 2.9k viewers currently. Katie Pot is on the top there of 222, almost on the top. We've rated her before. Oh, we got 757 Spy. I think I'm going to go give 757 Spy uh, a raid because uh, I haven't rated him before and he's a really good streamer. So, even though he has a lot of people seeing, I once in a while it's nice to drop by and say hi, you know? But here comes a raid to Gentleman 757 Spy. Coming up, I'm Hypertech CEO. Thank you so much again, Wild Chris. Have a good evening. And uh, I'll see you all again soon. Peace out.